that year arrived. Roger and Golden Lion Shiki finally met, and they confronted each other amidst the stormy waves. Golden Lion Shiki's ambitions swelled to the peak, and he wanted to control the world just like rocks. He is the big pirate, the only pirate in the sea, and he wants to become the king of the sea. Both strength and ambition are at their peak. Influenced by rocks, he controls the most powerful power in the world, which is the ability of lion fruit. On the sea, his ability is invincible, and as far as he knows, Roger also controls a terrible power. Once their powers are merged, they will be unique existences in the sea, and all people, including marines and pirates, will not be their opponents. The sea, they call it a day. From then on, they can do whatever they want without looking at marine's face. Join me, Roger, and we'll take over the world together. The Golden Lion made his invitation, Roger, a mighty man. He is also the person he admires the most. The relationship between the two is both an enemy and a friend. Shaki appreciates Roger's strength and character. Roger doesn't have too much ambition or complicated ideas. Simple and direct, he has been at sea for many years and still holds the heart of a child. This is what Shaki likes the most. Roger, what else are you thinking about? Join me and become my right hand man. Whatever you want in the future, Lousy can satisfy you. What else are you thinking, Roger? Lousy's strength, plus the weapons you know can destroy the world, plus the plan I have spent years building, will rule the world in no time. Be my partner, Roger. Reach out and smile. Golden Lion Shaki stood on the ship, behind him was a densely packed fleet. His team, his strength, is already the largest and strongest among all the pirates. No one, no one is their opponent even Whitebeard Newgate, it will not be their opponent. With Roger with him, no one in this world can stop them. Shaki has already begun to fantasize about his future, which will be wonderful. You can have whatever you want, beauties, innumerable, and wealth, so much that you hate it. Roger laughed loudly. Jihaha, Shaki, Lousy has no interest in ruling the world, pirates, if you don't do what you like, what's the point? You want to rule the world, but Lousy likes sailing. Lousy has no interest in your ambition. Shaki, Lousy will not join you nor rule the world with you. Pirates, you have to do what you want to do, such as wealth, such as beauty, such as travel. For example, all kinds of dreams, to be a complete self. A happy heart is all that matters, and he, Roger, has no idea of world domination. He also doesn't want to bind himself to the world, he wants to ride the sea and conquer the sea. Roger, are you rejecting me? Shaki was furious, behind him was a huge wave. At this moment, his devil fruit ability is fully displayed. The king of the sea, with one thought, all the huge waves will destroy your boat. You have to think about the consequences of being my enemy, lousy, it's not so easy to get along with. Friends, I golden lion will treat you well. If it's an enemy, I'm sorry, you go to die. Today, you have only one choice, be my partner and rule the world with me. Otherwise, you are buried here. This is Shiki's ultimatum, he doesn't want to talk nonsense with Roger. Roger and the others, who were surrounded in groups, did not panic at all, they stared quietly at the golden lion Shiki. It's just fighting, just fight, don't worry about the consequences. Buggy was sweating profusely in panic. It's over, Shanks, we're going to be over. There are so many of them, how can we fight? We can't beat them. Why don't we run, Shanks, Captain? Buggy jumps up and down and keeps trying to run being held down by Rayleigh to keep him from walking around. They looked at the captain in front and waited for the captain's order to act. Buggy, calm down, it's only Golden Lion Shaki, what are you afraid of? Rayleigh comforts Buggy, who is even more frightened. Shanks and Bullet were speechless, they dragged Buggy away one after another, not wanting to see him lose face. At a critical moment, if you do this for us, are you disturbing the morale of the army? Do you know that in the middle of a battle, disturbing the morale of the army will result in beheading? Roger said. Golden Lion Shaki, Lousy doesn't want to beat you. Hearing this, Shaki said angrily. Roger, you mean you want to start a war with me? Then Lousy beat you down and slaughtered your crew? Roger, you have to think about it, you are not afraid of death, what about them? The Golden Lion Shaki, who has the chance to win, has decided to take Roger and others, and they can't afford to turn the tide. The sea is his territory. The number of people, or ability, is their advantage. It is impossible for Roger and others to defeat them. Unless, there are other forces joining, but is it possible? Ha ha ha, Roger, since you want to die, Lousy will help you. Golden Lion Shaki looked at Roger, 
who was indifferent, and knew that he would not join his pirate group, and he would fight to the end. That being the case, he has no patience to continue to dissuade. For some people who want to die, good words will not come back. Brothers, kill me. Ships surrounded Roger and the others. Golden Lion Shaki raised his hand, all shells are ready. About to launch, Roger, without panic, stood on the bow, gazing at the Golden Lion Shaki. Suddenly, he smiled. Open your hands to welcome the heavy rain. All of a sudden, the sea was turbulent and the waves were surging. The surrounding ships, caught in the giant Uzumaki, were unable to climb out. Shells, attacking each other. They kill each other. Do not. Even the Golden Lion Shaki can't stop the huge waves and the destruction of the sea. In the blink of an eye, his ship was destroyed. Ships were destroyed and fell into the sea. Uzumaki, destroyed everything. The sea is turbulent, even if he wants to ascend to heaven, he can't do it. The energy and huge black shadow that appeared instantly blocked the night. At this moment, he looked at the surrounding sea in shock, those black shadows were constantly attacking them. Do not. Roger, that's impossible. How could he control such power? Those are the sea kings, the forces that destroy the world. Roger, he has such power in his hands. Roger, Lousy is going to tear you apart. Seeing his fleet destroyed, an enraged golden lion Shaki rushed forward to tear Roger apart. The forces he had worked so hard to build were all destroyed at this moment. What? Angry, he fights with Roger. The sky, covered by battle. Huge energy, enough to tear everything apart. After a long time, the rain stopped. The sea is calm. The battle is over. That year, the legendary great pirate Golden Lion Shaki came to an end. The shocking battle between him and Roger ended with Roger's victory. To everyone's surprise, they thought it was Golden Lion Shaki who would win the battle. The strength of the two fleets is very different. The strength of the Golden Lion's flying pirates far exceeds that of the Roger pirates. The battle between the two is like a battle between an adult and a child. Who would have thought, Roger, won the victory? And it was fighting on the sea where Golden Lion Shaki is good at. On Shiki's territory, Roger won the victory. This battle established Roger's reputation. It also allowed Roger to win the respect of many people, after all, it was the Flying Pirates. Then, the third year. Roger accomplished his feat and found the fabled treasure, Roughdale, who landed at the end of the sea. This is the first pirate known to have landed on Loudale, Roger, to claim the fabled treasure. Today is the day he becomes king. Roger Pirates, the legendary One Piece Roger, he, did great feats. All the crew members are cheering, they have fulfilled their ideals in life. This island they set foot on. Ruffdale, here we go. The end of the sea, we finally found it today. The legendary island turned out to be like this. They logged in, and everything they saw would be the secret of their lives. Here, the pirates are full of curiosity and expectation, and here is everything they want. The fantasies of pirates are all realized here. And they, standing on the island of dreams, have different moods. Lovedell's journey was buried in their hearts, and they no longer spoke about it. After that, they never mentioned it. Leaving the island, on the way back. Roger and Rayleigh both drank and looked at each other quietly. Rayleigh worried. Is it really decided? Roger took a sip of his wine and said with a smile, It's decided, Rayleigh, I hope you don't blame me. An important decision was made, and Roger didn't want to. But he won't live long. Rather than being tortured by illness, it is better to die vigorously. Roger, are you really going to do that? I'm afraid they won't accept it, after all, you are their respected captain. Rayleigh could understand and accept Roger's decision, but others couldn't. That's a big deal. Roger told himself only one person, the others, were kept in the dark. They will know sooner or later, once they know, who can guarantee that they will not act radically. Jabba, Bullet, Buggy, Shanks, they're all good, but when they're in a mood, it's troublesome. Rayleigh couldn't be sure to stare at them, after all, they had grown up too, and their strength had grown very fast. Even if you die of illness, or find a place to die alone, they won't be so sad, but if you surrender yourself and ask Marine to behead you, you. Consequences, have you thought about it? You are the Pirate King, the King of the Sea. Can the pirates accept it? Can they accept it? Roger will do what no one can accept. Rayleigh, don't you support me too? Rayleigh looked down, not knowing what to say. For or against, it doesn't matter. When Roger decides on a good thing, he cannot allow others to refuse it. His character Rayleigh knows that he will not change easily, and once he has made up his mind, he will do it desperately. 
Rayleigh, don't you agree to my dying wish? Death can happen to anyone, he is just a little early. Before he died, he wanted to do something spectacular, could it? The seed lacks the expectations of the new era. This era is over, and he needs to instill new dreams in the new era. Roger, me. On one side is my friend and the captain, who have been together for so many years and are like brothers. Roger was dying, even though he said it calmly, Rayleigh's heart was full of sadness. He didn't want Roger to die, the disease was irresistible. The Shinigami approaching step by step is constantly torturing him and eating away at his life. Roger, we've already made up our minds. Rayleigh smiled bitterly. Okay, I agree. After speaking, Rayleigh stood weakly and sat down. The whole person withered, he didn't want to see that scene. Sorry, Roger, I may not be able to see you off at that time. Roger hugged Rayleigh. I know, I know, I know, thank you, Rayleigh. Forgive my waywardness, Rayleigh. They went to sea together, fought together, shared joys and sorrows together, and finally became kings and fulfilled their dreams. But if he wants to do that kind of thing, no one can accept it. For Rayleigh, it is undoubtedly terrible news. Their dialogue may become eternal, it might also be a pity. Since then, the Roger pirates have ceased to exist. However, that's for later. Dad, Dad, Roger they landed in Loudale. Father, you see Roger as king. Roger is the One Piece king. What about you, Dad? Do you want to be king too? Dad, Dad. Marco and the others held the newspaper, on which was the news that Roger became king. It is estimated that at this moment, the whole world is discussing this matter. Roger accomplished great feats, they, accomplished dreams. At the end of the sea, they found it and went there. Marco felt sad. Father, are we going to Ravedale too? Whitebeard Newgate shook his head. Just leave that kind of thing to Roger, Lousy won't join in the fun. Roughdale has nothing to go on, Whitebeard's ambitions are not there. He looked at his sons and smiled with satisfaction. Sons, drink and celebrate. All right, Dad. Brothers, start drinking and eating meat. La la la. Marine. Sangoku stared at the message, his expression was not good. The news was sent out, and everyone knew the news that Roger became king. It is estimated that the majesty of their marine will be greatly affected. That Roger guy. Garp ate the donut and smiled slightly. Is it finally Loudale? Roger is so fast. But this is also good, the sea is quiet, and there is no need for too much turmoil. Garp. I may need to trouble you to go and arrest Roger. Sengoku said, be sure to arrest him, and don't let him jump around outside. Marine's majesty is beyond doubt. All those who challenge Marine's dignity will be arrested. When a new bounty came out, Sangoku ordered it to go down and send it to various places. The whole world is watching their marine to see how they act. And down in the marine, on the Sabodi archipelago, a man saw the message. Chen Qingtian, who was lying on the lawn, received the news at the first time, and he read it three times with a smile, not bad, Roger, he finally became the One Piece. Roger, fulfilled his dream and became the king of the sea. The only king, the only pirate who landed in raffles. His title of One Piece is recognized by everyone, even Rox does not have this title. While Chen Qingtian was relieved, his heart was filled with sadness. Roger became the One Piece, and in just three years, he accomplished the feat. Acting in such a hurry showed that his body had reached the final stage, and he might not be able to face the serious illness head on. Death is coming. Roger, are you dying? An unacceptable result, even if he was prepared. Chen Qingtian still couldn't accept it. It may be that people are old, and feelings come as soon as they are said. My little disciple is going to die right now. It's hard for a black-haired person to send a white-haired person, I knew it in advance. Lying down, looking at the sky, the grass behind me stings people. He, among other things, lay quietly. The posture was uncomfortable, so I changed several postures. He sat up, and behind his back, Dorag folded his hands and stared at his grandfather. He sat down and hugged his knees, grandfather. Yeah. Chen Qingtian turned around. Have you figured it out? Drago. Drago nodded. Think about it, grandpa, I may have to leave. Are you chasing your dreams too? Dorag. Birds that grow up will eventually go out to look for food. Fly around the world and take a look at the magnificence of the world. They are going to conquer, to fight. Drago had this idea a long time ago, if it wasn't for himself and Garp he would have left long ago. Persisting until now, he doesn't want to stay any longer. 
he has his things to do instead of staying in Marine and doing something that looks like justice. Marine is not the place of justice he thought. Here, there is too much darkness. Although Sengoku uncle and his father have been fighting against each other, darkness is darkness. Can't be changed. Are you sure? Drago nodded. Yes. Have you spoken to your father? Faced with Chen Qingtian's question, Drago shook his head. No, I don't want to tell him. If my father knew, he would definitely not let me leave Marine. Leaving Marine is tantamount to betraying Marine. Father would never agree, and neither would Sengoku uncle. First, leaving Marine, is to fight against Marine. He is not a free man. There are some things that, if spoken out, will definitely be imprisoned. He didn't want to have a conflict with his father and the others. When the time came, fighting would not be good for anyone. He wanted to leave quietly without disturbing anyone. He didn't want to affect the relationship between his father and Sengoku uncle because of him, and he didn't want to make his father not a human being because of him. Garp will be sad. If you don't discuss such a big matter with your father, he will be pissed off. At least you have to let him be mentally prepared, not. Forget it. You won't tell Garp, you go. After you leave, I'll tell you for you. Chen Qingtian rubbed his temples. After you left, do you think of a way out? Think about it, when the time comes, I will go. Drago thought about where to go. What to do, what to do, he has done everything. He told everyone he had to tell. He, doesn't want to stay in Marine anymore. When are you leaving? Drago said, today. So anxious. Dorag said embarrassedly, yes, grandpa, please. The rest is left to you, father, the grandson is unfilial and has caused you trouble. Chen Qingtian pressed his hand. Hey, you're gone. Grandpa should go back to take care of himself when the time comes. I am old and cannot continue to work hard. Take care of yourself and don't think too much about things. I still want to hug your son. It seems that there is no chance. Dorag said firmly, it will be soon, Grandpa. When the time comes, I'll bring Luffy back for you, okay. Okay, but at least you have to grow up a little bit, one or two years old, your Grandpa can't take it, haha. <laughs> At least he can walk on his own, can fight, and doesn't need him to wash diapers and change diapers. He was afraid to see those things, mainly children at that time, very noisy. A big man really can't handle it, he could handle it a few decades ago. Now, I'm old and don't want to do that kind of thing. Sure, sure, grandpa, don't worry, as soon as Luffy comes out, grandson will be the first to bring it back for you to see. After speaking, Drago left gracefully. Cloak and hijab, the whole person disappeared in the wind. He is already ready to leave. Hey, another person left. The departure of his grandson shows that he is disappointed with Marine. Chen Qingtian got up, he was going to see Garp, that old boy, probably still kept in the dark. Back at naval headquarters, he sees Garp. Garp, about to go out. Father, where is Drago? He wanted to take Drago with him on a great mission. Drago is gone. You said Drago, he's gone. Gone? What do you mean? Garp asked in surprise. Gone. Where did you go? Did you go out to play, or did you really leave? He couldn't respond, so he had to ask clearly. Chen Qingtian told the truth, Drago, left Marine. He escaped from Marine, after that, he is no longer a Marine. Hearing this news, Garp's head was blackened, and it took only a while for his son to make a big fuss. This is a very serious matter. The higher ups know it and will deal with it seriously. Father, how can you let Drago leave, he? When the words came to his lips, Garp couldn't speak them. He should have thought earlier that Dorag's behavior was abnormal. He has always been abnormal, and now, leaving Marine may be what he wants. Marine, not for him. Marine, to be precise, let him down. Where did Drago go? Garp asked dejectedly. Son, if you don't discuss important matters with yourself, what a failure you are. Do not know. Then I see. Garp got up frustrated and went to consult with Sengoku. Whatever the result, Chen Qingtian didn't have the heart to take care of it. Marine, he won't take care of Drago in a short time. Roger is king, and the impact is too great. They have to deal with Roger first, and then come back to deal with Drago. That day, Roger and Whitebeard Newgate met. Two people, looking at each other. Drinking, not to mention other things, they meet for drinking and chatting. Whitebeard and Newgate saw that they were almost drunk, and asked, is Roughdale any fun? The seas end, Whitebeard is also curious, he wants to know some information. Roger shook his head and said, it's not that good. If you go once, you won't want to go a second time. Hey, 
Here's Roughdale's pointer, Lousy ordered one just for you. The eternal pointer points to the legendary place, follow the instructions above, they can go to that legendary place. Whitebeard Newgate glanced at it and shook his head. Forget it, Lousy is not interested in this thing. Really? Newgate. Roger fiddled with the pointer, maybe he didn't have the idea of. Pretending. See, Lousy has been to Laudale O, are you going? Please Lousy, Lousy will give you the pointer of eternity. That place is not fun, it is not beautiful at all, I have been there once and I don't want to go there again. Kai Guoguos pretend, every word he says is disgusting, so it's provocative. Have you been there? Are you qualified to speak? Yes, you haven't, I have been, are you curious? I will tell you in detail. Newgate drinks and doesn't want to talk to Roger, I'll go, you bastard, pretended to Lousy, are you tired of work? Newgate, aren't you curious? Newgate pouted, Lousy doesn't want to go to Roughdale. In a word, all Roger's pretended thoughts were broken. It's boring. Why do you think you're not interested? Roger was speechless. Your sons are interested, they really want to go to the final island. Newgate. If you can t convince me, let us convince my son, Roger, everyone knows your heart. They're not interested either. If you don't ask them, how do you know they're not interested? I said, they're not interested. I'm their daddy, and I say they don't want to go or they don't want to go. Don't ask why, I have the final say. Roger was speechless, he poured wine for Whitebeard, and the two of them sat under the Sakura tree. Sakura flowers, falling. Two people, don't care. Rayleigh and Marco sat in the distance, watching quietly. After drinking for three rounds, Whitebeard Newgate asked, Roger, what do you want to see me at this time? Roger drank and was silent for a long time, he expressed his thoughts and his illness. After hearing these messages, Whitebeard and Newgate were silent. He drank heavily. It took three bowls in a row before he stopped. Eyes, staring at Roger. You. The words are on your lips, don't know what to say? Staring at each other quietly, the news that came out of Roger's mouth must not be false. Have you considered? That decision was too shocking. He dares to be the first. Marine will not agree to such a big event. Roger laughed loudly. Jihaha, Newgate, do you think Lousy is a fool? I can only say this to you, and Lousy never mentions it to anyone else. Ha ha ha, that's fine, but Roger, have you really thought about it? Newgate looked at the people outside, those Roger's crew, what is he going to do? Disbanded, Lousy can't let them mess around with Lousy. After saying the word disband, Roger's heart sank. After so many years of feelings, their fates are closely linked. Disbanded suddenly, I feel sad, are you willing to? If you don't disband, why don't you let them follow Lousy to die? Roger was relieved, protecting them, himself, all alone. Marine will definitely agree to his conditions. I came here at this moment just to say goodbye to Whitebeard. It was also to stabilize his heart and prevent him from causing trouble. I am about to die, and before I die, do a big thing. Okay, Roger, Lousy will restrain them when the time comes. Whitebeard agreed, he would not interfere with Roger's decision. Not to make trouble, knowing the specific situation, Whitebeard and Newgate sighed. Roger being Roger, he was really afraid of going to Marineford himself. No matter, no matter, let him be fulfilled. Thank you, Newgate. Ha ha, drink, drink. After a while. Roger, after visiting Whitebeard, meets Garp. The two had a fight. It was a very peaceful fight, and after fighting each other for a long time, they couldn't do anything to each other. Then, they restrained their men and prevented them from doing anything. After separating them, the rest is for them to solve by themselves. The two sit together and drink. Roger, what are you going to do? Garp is not in a good mood. His son Drago is gone. There is no solution for the time being. It is estimated that there will be a reward. At present, it is concealed and not released, and the higher ups are very unhappy with Dorag's departure. As for Garp, he doesn't argue with the people above, his son can go wherever he wants. No one can control it, besides, if they have the ability, they will catch him and bring him back. Garp is very clear about his son's strength, and it is very difficult for Marine to arrest him. Garp. Didn't you want to catch Lousy? Lousy can go back with you, as long as you let them go. How about withdrawing the reward from now on and letting them be ordinary people? Garp was shocked, he thought he had heard wrong. What did you say? Roger, are you going to get caught without a fight? The two really want to fight, but they can't help each other. When Roger wants to go, Marine can't stop him. 
Unless all Marines are mobilized, that kind of thing is impossible. In the sea, Roger is not the only pirate. Don't be kidding, Roger, how could you be willing to catch him without a fight? Roger said seriously, I'm not kidding you, Garp. I, after thinking about it, I am willing to surrender, on the condition that their reward be revoked. After today, the Roger pirates are disbanded, how? Garp punched himself, thinking he had misheard, and was shocked to hear Roger say it again. It's real, not a dream. Roger, really want to turn himself in. Is he tired of living? Don't you know what surrender means? Roger, have you figured it out? Didn't lie to Lousy? By choice, Garp is unwilling to arrest Roger. His danger is very low, and he has not done any harmful actions. Different from other pirates, they burn, kill and plunder, and do all kinds of evil. Those pirates are the ones they should arrest. Think about it, Garp, Lousy is caught by you, and you, agree to Lousy's terms. It's a worthwhile deal, you won't say no to it, will you? Roger believed that Marine would not refuse such an offer, and not resisting himself was a huge temptation for them. With him arrested, Marine's majesty will rise to the next level. Garp couldn't decide by himself, so he called back and asked Sengoku. Sengoku, it's me, Garp. Yes, that's the way it is, how do you feel? Okay, I get it, we agree to his request, okay, I get it. Sengoku, is there anything else to add? Okay, I'll talk to Roger, don't worry, he won't resist. After the phone call, Marine agreed. Being able to arrest Roger, the rewards offered by others, is not a concern. Moreover, Roger is dead, and the Roger pirates are tantamount to disbanding. They can't make waves, they agreed, Roger. Very well, Garp, give me a moment, I say goodbye to them. Garp nodded. Go, I'll give you a day, and we'll go back after a day. Roger said. Okay, this day has finally arrived. Roger turned himself in. Roger pirates, at this moment, disbanded. Soon, the news of Roger's arrest spread all over the world. Marine arrested the One Piece King Roger at an unprecedented speed, and they also decided to behead Roger one month later to show Marine's majesty. Marine, do not desecrate. For many pirates, this news is like a bolt from the blue. A new emperor was born in the sea, and he was arrested, which was unacceptable to all pirates. As powerful as Roger, how could he be arrested by a mere Marine? The person who arrested Roger was Garp. Garp's reputation once reached its peak, he became a marine hero, he was already a hero when he was fighting the rocks, and his reputation reached its peak at this time, and he became an example for all marines to learn from. He is a new role model for the marine, a role model for other new marine soldiers to learn from and pursue. Be like Garp, from nothing to where he is now. He is synonymous with hard work and a representative of children from poor families. Garp without devil fruit is a role model for many poor people who have no resources, even without devil fruit, they can become strong. All in all, these are what Marine preaches. The specific content, not many people know. Roger Pirates, disbanded. Shanks and others got the news, they were shocked and gradually accepted it. After Roger left, Rayleigh told them the details, and after they knew it, the anger dissipated. Shanks, are you going? Bullet, do you want to go with me? The location of the execution was announced, Roger's hometown, the town of Rog. It is of great significance, and it is also the end. The meaning of Marine is clear and clear. Buggy was in tears, even though he knew that the captain was sick, he still couldn't accept the fact that the captain surrendered himself. The captain is obviously so powerful, how could he? Go ahead, but I want to go myself, Buggy. Shanks shook his head, the Roger pirates were disbanded, and it was time for him to leave. Go find your dreams and enhance your strength. Weak, everything is wrong. Huh? Shanks, won't you come with me? Shanks shook his head, rejecting Buggy's invitation, and he turned to leave. Alone, not with other people. The future belongs to each of them. Bullet turned around and wanted to leave, but Buggy pulled him and asked, Aren't you going? Bullet. Buggy. Let Lousy go, from now on, Lousy will do what Lousy should do. Bullet shook off Buggy's hand, and he said coldly, The moment the Roger pirates are disbanded, we have nothing to do with you anymore. Buggy. We're not buddies anymore. You are no longer my friend. Next time we meet, Lousy will kill you. After threatening, Bullet turned handsomely and left like Shanks. After saying that, there was a trace of crystal in the corner of his eyes when he turned around. The others have gone too, without the captain, without the backbone. Disbanded, 
everyone went back to their respective homes, and those who wanted to make a living continued to make a living. Rayleigh was left. He pressed Buggy's head and smiled. The future is yours, Buggy boy. You have to be strong, in the future, you will be alone. They parted ways and went their separate ways for their own future. And you, Buggy, try hard too. The sea of. The future is changing and dangerous. Lousy is going to retire too, haha. Rayleigh also wants to retire, life at sea is not suitable for him anymore. As for Roger's execution, he didn't go to see it. In order not to look at it, my eyes will not live up to expectations and shed tears. I, alone, Buggy murmured. He watched his teammates fall apart, some of them went home to retire, some went to struggle, and some went to practice for a better future. And he was confused. Rogtown, here I come. He is going to the captain's hometown to witness the death of the captain. Then, he started his actions. From now on, I can only rely on myself. Dad, Dad, look, Marine is going to behead Roger. The news was shocking, and the whole sea boiled. They didn't expect that after Marine announced the news of Roger's arrest, there would be another news immediately. It takes only a few minutes to separate the two hairs. Beheading in front of the whole world, this time the beheading action is projected to the whole world. Lousy got it. Whitebeard and Newgate knew the details of the matter early on, and there were no waves. He pressed his hand and continued to drink. Staring at the sky, that day, the Sakura flowers fell, and he already knew the result. Dad. Aren't we going to save Roger? Marco asked worriedly. Joes and others also asked, they want to save Roger. After all, Roger has a good relationship with them and deserves their help. Whitebeard shook his head. No need, Marco, tell me to go on, everyone can't leave. Marco said anxiously, Father, that's Roger, us. It's not like the old man who doesn't talk about friendship. Marco really wanted to question his father, but seeing his loneliness, he stopped asking. Ten minutes later, he heard the news from his father. Since then, he has not mentioned this matter again. Let Roger take the path he chooses. The sea on the other side. After the war, Golden Lion Shaki reorganized the fleet, and he wanted to seek revenge on Roger. The last failure was an accident, this time, he wanted to save face. Who knows, he got a shocking news. Roger was arrested, and Roger was going to be beheaded. What? How is this possible? That guy Roger is Lousy's opponent, no one can kill him except Lousy. Marines trash. How could they catch Roger? Lousy doesn't believe it. Lousy is going to rescue you, Roger, wait for Lousy. Shaki, he didn't want to believe the news he saw before him, maybe Marines sent it randomly. He wants to witness for himself, he wants to save Roger, and then ask him face to face. It's a shame that the dignified One Piece was caught by Marines trash. All hands out, set off for Lousy. Ready for battle, destination, Marine Ford. The crew were shocked, but they were more excited. Ray's naval headquarters, their captain is about to explode and perform feats that have never been seen before. Come on. Naval headquarters, go. Brothers, go. Three days later, Golden Lion arrived at naval headquarters with his new pirate group, the Flying Pirates. He's going to save Roger, and then, attack Marine Ford. The big movement and the arrogant attitude can be said to be the first in the world. The news of his attack on Marineford spread all over the world, and many people were watching the battle. The legendary great pirate attacked naval headquarters in order to save Roger the Pirate King. He, Golden Lion Shaki, is the first. I'll go, that guy Shaki is so brave, he actually came. Roger was imprisoned in naval headquarters, and Marine mobilized many forces to guard naval headquarters, in order to prevent those who are desperate to jump over the wall. Unexpectedly, the first person to jump out was Shaki. This guy, after being overturned by Roger, unexpectedly came to save him. Chen Qingtian heard the movement, and he came to the headquarters to watch the battle. Garp and Sengoku joined forces to fight Golden Lion Shiki. It has to be said that Golden Lion Shiki's strength is very strong, and he will not lose the wind against the two of them. Lion Fruit's ability is in his hands, superb, and his two-sword swordsmanship has also reached the level of a swordsman. Fight two people without losing the wind. Shaki is not wise, come to trouble at this time, isn't it courting death? Marine's combat power has shrunk. You are here alone, aren't you courting death? At least I need to bring my brothers together, Kaido Linlin, and that guy Whitebeard, plus the original members of the Roger Pirates, maybe we can save Roger. It's impossible for Shaki alone. It's not that Chen Qingtian looked down on Shaki, but it was already very difficult for him to fight Garp alone. 
In order to protect Marineford, Sengoku and Garp were relatively gentle and did not dare to destroy too much. They restrained their strength, otherwise, Marineford would have been destroyed by them long ago. Cherish your own territory. In less than half a day, the crew of Golden Lion Shaki were all arrested. There was only one person left, and Shaki struggled to support himself. Garp, Sengoku. Lousy doesn't believe that you can arrest Roger. How could Roger be defeated by you? He is a man I recognize. Sengoku turned into a Buddha, and the shock wave slapped Shaki. Shaki. Roger is the One Piece, your enemy. Shaki stood up and laughed loudly. One Piece? So what? Although we don't like each other, we have gone through an era with him. If he is here, bring me here. If you want to kill him, I will do it myself. His enemies, he must kill with his own hands. Instead of letting Roger die at the hands of Marine, it was the most humiliating decapitation. They are insulting the name of One Piece, they are completely trampled under their feet. Shaki can't bear it, Marine, can't kill Roger. Garp waved his iron fist and said with a sneer, Shaki, I may disappoint you. You will be arrested today and held in the big prison under the sea. It's impossible for you to see Roger's beheading. Because, you will be defeated by them today. In this case, Lousy will make a big fuss about Marineford. Destroy it. Destroy it. All Marines, you all die under the lion fruit. At this moment, Piao Piao Devil Fruit's ability was fully activated, and the ground split open. Shaki wants to destroy the whole Marineford, he wants to destroy everything. Damn it, Shaki is going to make a big move. This guy really wants to ruin this place. Chen Qingtian backed away from danger. The earth split open, and Marineford was divided. Shaki didn't hold back his hand anymore, he was so enraged that he lost his mind. Fight, destroy, destroy. The battle continued for another half day, and half of Marineford was destroyed. There are ruins everywhere. Golden Lion Shaki lay on the ground and he failed. Not being able to save Roger and Garp, who was fighting him, also felt bad. After a fight, they were shocked by Shiki's destructive power. Most of Marineford was destroyed, and many Marines died. Shaki, don't hold back. You're under arrest, Shaki. Sangoku and Garp put a sea stone chain on Golden Lion Shaki, blocking his devil fruit ability. At the same time, his movements were restricted, and since then, Golden Lion Shaki has been arrested. Him, the curtain is over. The big pirate is also over. Chen Qingtian watched the whole process, and fought very fiercely. It's a pity that Shaki is alone after all. He, go see Roger. Roger, who surrendered himself, was still treated favorably, and was locked in a prison with a sea stone chain on his body. The Marines don't want Roger to escape from the Marine, and the beheading operation must be carried out without any problems. Going around, Chen Qingtian found that Marine was heavily guarded and he couldn't get in. Reluctantly, he backed away and could only wait for Garp. There is no one to lead the way, and he cannot approach. An hour later, after resting, Garp met his father, and he heard a shocking news. Father, actually going to see Roger. Garp stared at his father with wide eyes, as if he couldn't think of any connection between his father and Roger. As for the two, it can be said that they are completely unrelated. Father, are you going to see what Roger is doing? Roger is the key now, you can't do stupid things. Chen Qingtian waved his hand. Got it. I want to live a few more years for your father, I just want to go and see him, just tell me, take me with you or not. Garp froze, his curiosity aroused. Father, do you know Roger? Don't ask if you shouldn't ask, you will know when the time comes. By the way, when the time comes, you'd better not talk nonsense. Chen Qingtian repeatedly told Garp not to let a third person follow, just the two of them. Garp's request, the above is agreed. After all, people are captured by Garp. With Garp reassuring Roger, he won't mess around. The two naturally entered the prison, and the people around them exited. Roger, who was facing the wall in thought, heard the voice and didn't turn around. He knew that Garp was coming. Roger, Lousy is here to see you, come here quickly. Roger turned around and was about to have a good chat when he saw Chen Qingtian. Wink. Wiping my eyes, I thought I was wrong. Take another look. Yes, it's the old man. He's here too, right now, at naval headquarters. Old man, you are here. Garp saw it, I went, and sure enough I knew each other. Roger knows father, father knows Roger. Wait, why do they know each other? What is their relationship? Garp, at the moment, wanted to know. The fire of his eight trigrams burns brightly. Come and see you as a patient. 
If the old man is too boring, I won't come to see you. Chen Qingtian said, How is it, are you going to die? Not yet, soon, I thought I would never see you again, teacher. Roger changed his words, and he called out the word teacher. After many years, he finally shouted out. Chen Qingtian picked his nose, and said in a bad mood, I told you to pay attention to your body, rest, and health preservation. You must listen. The old man reminded you back then, and you didn't take it seriously, now you know you were wrong. Meeting as a reprimand, Roger obediently listens, not daring to refute. Garp next to him was shocked, his mouth opened and his pupils widened. Teacher? Roger called my father teacher, didn't he? Could it be true? Roger's teacher is my father, doesn't it mean that Roger and I are brothers in the same school? Father, you. Father, Roger is your disciple? Shocked Garp couldn't believe what he saw and heard. Roger was actually his father's disciple. I and Roger are from the same school, they fought to the death, and finally found out that they are our own. Unable to accept it, Garp was dumbfounded, unable to face his father. A seemingly boring person running around has actually taught a talent like Roger, how many things his father has hidden from him. God. What else are you hiding from me? Say it quickly. Eh? Didn't I tell you? Chen Qingtian retorted. I remember I said it, did you forget? You need to improve your memory, Garp. Garp. Put your shit. Obviously you didn't say it, and now it's still on my head. Have you ever said that? Father. When did you say it? Garp asked repeatedly, chasing after his father for an answer. He didn't remember such a thing. Once, a long time ago, his father disappeared for a long time. Garp seems to know what his father did after he disappeared. Roger, who else? You say it together, I won't say yours. Okay, Garp, don't worry about those details, let him pass the past, we have to look forward. Chen Qingtian comforted. From now on, don't talk, just watch quietly. Garp was helpless and was forced to stand aside. Chen Qingtian stared at the decadent Roger, the illness had left marks on his body. He smiled and was very happy to see the old man. The big stone that weighed on my heart seemed to be let go. Roger, do you have anything to say? Don't you have a will? If not, the old man will have to leave. Roger nodded and said, Grandpa, Garp, I actually have a son. Speaking of his son, Roger showed a shy expression. The hidden son, not many people know. He hid this matter very deeply, very deeply, after all, he is his own son, if it spreads out, it will cause a big explosion. He didn't want others to know that he was willing to speak out until now. Chen Qingtian was not surprised, he oh, and then said, Do you want this old man to take care of the child for you? Roger nodded happily. If you can, of course it's fine. Chen Qingtian pulled Garp over, pointed at him and said, Roger, you should tell him this, not the old man. Look at the old man, do you still have the heart to embarrass the old man? Having a baby is a very painful thing. Tortured, embarrassing. Chen Qingtian is not young, if he continues to take care of the children, he will be exhausted. Taking this situation into consideration, Chen Qingtian found Garp who was watching the show next to him. This kid can just help you take care of him and practice his hands by the way. Garp, can you? Garp was at a loss, he didn't expect to see his head while watching a play. The father was a coward, and even dragged himself to be buried with him. No, father, I'm busy. Garp wondered. What are you busy at? I'm Marine Vice Admiral and I have a lot going on. Don't you even do a little favor. It's not that I don't want to help, father, Roger, I. As long as you want to help, it's just a happy decision. Roger, let Garp take care of your son. Don't worry, he will be safe. Chen Qingtian asked again. By the way, what's your son's name? Ace, old man, Garp, my son's name is Ace. From now on, Ace will take care of you, thank you. Roger said his son's name, and then bowed affectionately. Thank you. Roger doesn't know what to do without you. Garp, dully accepted the thanks. He didn't want to agree. His father pressed his body and accepted this thank you. After explaining the son's affairs, Roger, sit down, drink and eat meat. His regrets are gone, and the only thing left is to wait for death. Old man, you are right, you live longer than me, jihaha. The joke of the year has come true today, he is short-lived. Old man, he still has a long life. It seems that he can live for a long time. He suddenly envied the old man's state, how energetic and healthy he was. Career or something is worthless in front of lifespan. Unfortunately, he had no chance to regret it. It's just his poor son and daughter-in-law, unable to accompany them, Roger feels guilty about them. Maybe this is fate. 
The talent is extraordinary, in a short period of time, you get what others can't get in a lifetime. You should be lucky, if you still have a long life, you will get it. There is no such thing as the best of both worlds. Destiny's child can't live long, that's the law. Roger, come, have a drink. Grandpa, drink. The two sat on the ground drinking, and after a while, Garp joined them. The three drank together for about an hour. They have nothing to say, they are friends at this moment. Friends who no one can influence, pour out each other's feelings. Roger, when the time comes, the old man may not see you off. In the thick part of the river, Chen Qingtian expressed his decision. Rogtown, he probably won't go back, he didn't want to see that day. Roger, he can also be regarded as the person he watched grow up, he can be regarded as his half-son. He was going to die, himself, but there was nothing he could do. Disease is invincible. Roger's lifespan has already been exhausted, even if he is treated, it will be of no use. Moreover, this is what Roger himself wants, he wants to start the era of pirates. How can I stop his last wish? I know. Roger's toasting hand stopped, trembling. His pupils were red and his eye sockets were moist. I know. Actually, I know all about it, old man. Really, I know all about it. He opened his mouth several times, but couldn't yell out. To him, Chen Qingtian was the man who pulled him out of the abyss. Without Chen Qingtian, he might have stayed in Rogtown for food and drink all his life. Everything now is due to Chen Qingtian's selfless dedication. They are like master and apprentice, but also like father and son. Although the previous memory was tragic, the old man hit hard and would not let him have a chance to rest, but he did everything. What can be done, what can be taught, and what can be given to him, is given. Teaching a man to fish is worse than giving him a fish. The mind and the body are captured together. Roger has today's achievements, 80% is due to Chen Qingtian's credit. I know you don't want to see me die, I know that. Teacher, I know. I don't want you to see that scene either, really, I. A lot of words came to my mouth and choked back. Roger tears, overflowing. Perhaps, only in front of Chen Qingtian, he would act like a daughter. Roger. Chen Qingtian comforted. I will take good care of Ace. At that time, I will teach him a lot of things so that he has the ability to protect himself. Whether he can be like you depends on his talent. I won't let anyone bully Ace. Thank you all. Roger, thanks again. The three of them drank for a long time. Town of Rog. The day of execution has come. Marine surrounds the town of Rog in case someone comes to rescue Roger. This beheading was watched by the whole world, and Marine's purpose of doing this was to let people all over the world know what the fate of going against Marine would be. No matter what your identity is, no matter how strong you are, no matter whether you are the One Piece or not, you have to fall under the majesty of Marine. Marine, inviolable. Marine's will is eternal. Justice means victory. Many people came here in advance, and they wanted to witness Roger's fall. This is a symbol of an era, and Roger's fall symbolizes the coming of another era. Times have changed, just today. Shanks, he's waiting, hiding in the crowd, here he comes. Yes, he came alone. He came stealthily and hid in the crowd. He didn't want others to find him, staring at the execution platform above. Captain, is it time to start? His captain, his belief, and everything about him will end here, and then start a new life. He looked around, but found no acquaintances. Perhaps, they are hiding in a corner. From a more secluded corner, Buggy, is watching. He was waiting, coming early, to see the captain die. Maybe at this moment, his heart died, captain. Buggy murmured, he was alone, hiding, he didn't want to be found by Marine. He was also looking for the figure of an acquaintance, but he didn't see it. The location they are looking for is very secret, and generally speaking, no one can find it. Shanks coming? He asked himself inwardly, and then he confirmed, he will definitely come, Shanks guy, he likes the captain very much, there is no way he won't come. The human Shanks, like himself, will come to see the captain off. As for the bullet guy, it's too heartless, he won't come. Scanning around, he couldn't find Shanks, Buggy didn't bother with this, he knew that Shanks was hiding in a corner watching. On the roof, stood a man wearing a pink cloak. He watched this scene. Laughing man, arrogant attitude, those eyes, rebellious. The most coquettish man in all anime is also the most impressive man. His appearance has attracted the likes of many people. Doflamingo, a celestial dragon's, outcast, symbolizes evil men. Like many people, he had a miserable childhood, but his childhood was evil, his behavior, everything about him, was evil. 
going on the evil side, the exact opposite of his brother. But such a person, you will eventually find that he has an amazing charm. Gee ha ha, Roger, are you going to die? This day has finally arrived. The old era ends, and the new era begins. Today is the day of the end and the beginning. The era that belongs to us is coming soon, he was ecstatic. I have been waiting for this day for a long time, but I did not expect it to come so soon. The sea needs to be reshuffled. The era of Roger, the One Piece, is coming to an end. On the street below, a man was waiting below with a sword on his back. Around him, no one dared to approach. The strong breath scares the people around him. He waited quietly. The sky changes color. It's going to rain. The light rain, Roger, was pulled up, and he walked up to the execution platform with a smile. Lie down and look at the screens around you. He knows that today's events are being played around the world. At this moment, he smiled. Before dying, he smiled happily. It didn't feel like he was about to face death at all, he glanced around. Below are the elites of the new era. Their arrival is to witness their own death and welcome the arrival of a new era. The new generation of pirates, they represent the future. Roger, even happier. He bared his teeth and looked back at Marine behind him. Are you ready for the new era? Want my treasure? As soon as these words came out, the Marines couldn't keep calm. They wanted to move quickly, but they were still slow. Roger, speak. Before dying, he said a word. The last sentence was also something he had prepared for a long time. As soon as these words came out, he believed that the sea was going to be in chaos. That's what Roger wanted. Below, it boiled. Many pirates are for treasure. They waited a long time for Roger, to finally tell where his treasure was. I can give you everything you want, go find it. I put everything in the world there. After speaking, Roger laughed out loud. Treasure, he put it in a corner of the world, go find it. Whoever finds it first will own the treasure. Go ahead and wander around. Pirates, let's fight for crossing. The future is yours. The treasure is mine. One piece is treasure, he hides it somewhere. Ha ha ha, I knew it. One piece Roger will not die easily. He must be for this moment. Brothers, let's go, let's go find the treasure. Roger. Marine was furious, they didn't expect that Roger would give them all the moths in the end. Kabao, he has a fart Kabao, he is fooling everyone. But those people believed him because he was the One Piece king. Just imagine how attractive the One Piece's treasure is. Crazy, the pirates are all crazy. They are leaving the town of Rog, going out to sea, sailing, and looking for treasure. The gate of the new world opens towards them. The breath of the new era is here. As Roger's words fell, his life came to an end. It's over, that man's life begins and ends with Rog Town. Everything will unfold from here. The era of great pirates also begins here. Luo is separated, destined to be remembered by everyone. Shanks watched the captain's head fall to the ground, knowing that the marines would contain his body, he turned and left. Captain, I understand. At that moment, Shanks understood. Tears, could not stop shedding. It's too embarrassing to let people see him cry. He has a goal. At this moment, the new era beckoned to him. Captain. Buggy, crying, covering his mouth to keep himself from shouting. Tears had already wet his face, he couldn't accept this scene. The captain who loves to laugh, was still smiling before he died. It is impossible to imagine that in the face of death, there are still people who can laugh. Rogtown, Buggy is destined to be unable to get out. Captain. This town is the place where the captain was raised. He might be here for a while, maybe a long time. Baboon, a new era has begun. Doflamingo smiled defiantly. Roger, a new era has opened. Turning around, he left the town of Rog. In the street, the man with the sword on his back left silently. He knew that the next step would be Marine's arrest, and the pirates who came here would be ruthlessly arrested by Marine. The rain stopped. He touched the rainwater that slid down his cheek, and fell into a daze. This rain is very strange. Ushered in the change of the times and bid farewell to the regrets of the old times. Roger, he's dead after all. A month later, Chen Qingtian left Marineford, and after saying goodbye to his son Garp, he continued to travel alone. What Roger told him to do was to be done by Garp, who was about to become a grandfather and hadn't taken children seriously yet. Many things are more suitable for Garp than for Chen Qingtian. To adopt Ace, you must first find out where he is. Roger, that guy, will naturally protect his wife and not let them get hurt. Hidden in a very secret place, without Roger telling the place, they are really hard to find. 
For the others, it was even more impossible to find, because no one knew that Roger had a son. For the rest, it is up to Garp to deal with it himself. There are still many things on the marine side. After all, this matter involves many people, so you can't say it casually, even Sengoku may not be able to say it. As long as Garp and Chen Qingtian know about it, everyone else should keep it a secret. I don't know if that kid Garp went to Ace. Ace, Luffy, Sabo, it's enough to give Garp a headache. Fortunately, that kid Luffy hasn't been born yet. If that kid is born, it's enough to give Garp a headache. Old man, let's enjoy it for a while, and go back to care for them when Garp grows up. Now that they are still young, it is the most uncomfortable time. Garp took over the front, and himself, the back. The work arrangement is good, but Garp doesn't want to accept it, so he has to accept it. He couldn't help but refuse. These are things for later, Chen Qingtian doesn't want to care about Garp. Enjoy it and learn how to be a good grandpa. The road ahead is long. One month after leaving Marineford, Chen Qingtian walked aimlessly. In the first half month, I got on a boat and kept swimming. Walk with them, and then walk alone. Above the sea, the situation is changing. Disasters can come at any time. As for him, he left the merchant ship and went alone. He found that there was a strange place not far away. Heading out of nowhere, he entered the calm belt. There is really no wind, and the area around here is calm. The sea is calm, without any waves. Around, cannot feel the breath of the wind. I've seen it a few times, and it's still shocking. How to achieve no wind, Chen Qingtian couldn't understand after thinking. Walking forward, controlling the power of the water, he moved forward slowly. Ahead, an island appeared. Under the sea, there are huge sea kings swimming. They seem to be staring at Chen Qingtian and swim below Chen Qingtian. Chen Qingtian patted his head, you are hungry and looking for something else to eat, human flesh is not tasty. Exuding a little coercion, the fully loaded sea kings seemed to be frightened and fled crazily. A small wave broke out, which quickly calmed down. Sea kings, dare not approach Chen Qingtian. Cowardly guy, the old man still wants to try the taste of sea kings. I don't know if it's good or not, but it's such a big one, it should taste good. I have eaten the small sea kings, but I have not tried the large sea kings, will there be any difference in taste? Thinking about food, he landed on the island. This island, located in Calm Belt, has a strange atmosphere, and looking around, it seems that a beautiful woman can be seen. It's an interesting place. Is there any place inside the Calm Belt? Chen Qingtian thought about it, and thought of a good place. A man's paradise, a paradise of dreams. Daughter Island, Amazon Lily, also known as Nine Snake Island, is a country of a group of nine snakes. Don't underestimate this group of women. Their fighting power is terrifying and they are known as the pinnacle of the nation of fighting women. All women have combat effectiveness, no matter adults, children, or the elderly, their combat effectiveness is not weak. They hid in the calm belt, using the natural barrier to protect themselves, and all these years, they lived in peace. The unique barrier allows them to live comfortably. They all know the horror of the outside world and keep practicing. With unique rules, the stronger the combat power, the higher the identity and status. Worshipping the strong is the norm of Daughter's Island. And hating men is also an idea they have in common. While annoying, many of them are also curious about men. When Chen Qingtian landed on this island, he might have to face, ahem, very good treatment. That guy Shaki will probably love this place. Sanji also likes this place, his paradise, but unfortunately, the place Sanji went to was Simon Island. It has to be said that Tyrant Bear knows Sanji very well. It's just that Kid Luffy doesn't know how to be blessed when he is in the blessing. There are so many beauties, such a good-looking empress, what a waste. The old man's precious great-grandson, your future daughter-in-law, I will protect you for you. In the future, remember to give me a few more children to play with, the more the better. I don't know how Hancock is doing. A period of time has passed since the event of Marie Joy's in the Holy Land, and the three sisters of the Empress should have arrived on the island. I don't know if they can adapt here and live well. Daughter's Island is the most suitable place for them to go to other places, maybe. A slave of celestial dragons, not many places dare to accept it. Who is it? Put your hands up and don't move. Not long after he left, Chen Qingtian was discovered. The beauties came out from the grass, holding bows and arrows, and pointed at Chen Qingtian. After a beautiful woman came out, other people heard the movement and came over one after another. Raising their weapons, they pointed at Chen Qingtian. Their eyes were very bold, staring directly at Chen Qingtian. 
It seemed that he was seeing a man for the first time, his eyes were full of curiosity. Chen Qingtian raised his hand, not wanting to conflict with them. Beautiful women will get preferential treatment. I won't move, I won't move, don't kill me. I came here by accident, don't kill me. Acting, who can't? Chen Qingtian showed his powerful acting talent and performed for several beauties. They stared at him indifferently, refusing to let him go. Raise your hands, don't move, I tell you not to move, if you move again, don't blame us for being rude. Okay, okay, I won't move. Chen Qingtian raised his hand and let them restrain him. In other people's territory, you should be more secure. You can't mess around, it's not good if you hurt them. Come with us, don't play tricks, do not move. The beauties escorted Chen Qingtian, and there were people watching from both the front and back. Seeing Chen Qingtian for the first time, many of them were very curious, even along the way. Many beauties cast curious glances at Chen Qingtian. Who is this guy? Who is it? Is he the man in the legend? Why did the man appear here? Man. What a magical creature. That's what men look like. Why do I feel that he is a bit old and handsome? You have poor eyesight. Hey, old pervert. What eyes? Actually, I also think he's a bit good looking. Some beauties like Chen Qingtian, and they cast appreciative glances. The beauties next to each other started to talk, discussing the issue of handsomeness. Mother in law, I found this suspicious person outside. This person is sneaky, and he is not a good person at first glance. The beautiful guard put a hat on Chen Qingtian, and when he saw you, he knew that you were not a good person. Chen Qingtian is about to vomit blood, beauty, I didn't offend you, so don't talk nonsense. The woman known as mother-in-law is the current king of the daughter kingdom and the patriarch of the nine snakes, in charge of everything in the daughter kingdom. These years, they have been able to live in daughter island safely, thanks to Granny Niu's contribution. Well, I see. Granny Niu, also known as Granny Bean, Gloriosa a woman who is not tall. At least in the world of One Piece, she's kind of short. Of course, taller than the little people. Grandma Nu, this person is very dangerous, you have to be careful. Grandma Nu, be careful with him. Grandma Nu, you can't untie him. Granny Nu came to Chen Qingtian and took a look, as if observing whether there was any danger. She untied Chen Qingtian's shackles and dispersed the surrounding people. Those wise eyes stared at Chen Qingtian, and the two old men looked at each other. You look at me, I look at you, all looking at each other. Man. What are you doing on Nine Snakes Island? Granny Nu asked directly. What is your purpose? Let me tell you, men are not welcome here. What, he's really a man. He doesn't seem to be any different from us. He looks a bit tough, but he doesn't look dangerous. Ouch, the man laughed. What a scary man. The beauties were shocked. It was really a man. For them who had never seen a man before, they were very curious. They are stranded on the island and cannot get out. Unlike Granny Nu, Granny Nu is well informed and naturally knows many things. Surprised, they looked at the difference between Chen Qingtian and them, but found no difference. Everything that should be there, seems to be the same. Some women noticed the difference, they spoke quietly, and after a while, some women blushed. Some are comparing their chests with Chen Qingtian's, they are different. Granny Nu ignored those women, as if she was crazy when she saw the man. She turned around and said, let's all go down. Others wait, I'll go down. Don't crowd around and watch, do your own thing. In a word, everyone else is gone. There were a few guards left here, Granny Nu questioned Chen Qingtian, man, tell me, your purpose. Chen Qingtian said with a smile, Grandma Nu, right? Is it okay for the old man to call you that? Granny Nu nodded. Whatever. Tell me your purpose quickly, man. To men, Grandma Niu doesn't look good. It may be that I have been hurt by men before, so I don't like men. I said that the old man has no purpose, do you believe it? Granny Niu's crutches fell heavily, and she had a bad expression on her face. Man, you'd better tell the truth, don't try to deceive the old woman. Although I am old, my eyes are not bright yet. Who are you and what are you going to do? The old woman can tell at a glance. You'd better report the truth. Otherwise, I don't guarantee that you can leave here alive. Grandma Nu was angry, he would not have a good attitude towards dishonest people. When treating men with other purposes, they all kill them. Chen Qingtian curled his lips. Don't scare the old man, as for the old man, I came here by accident, and I don't have any thoughts about you. Believe it or not, I really came here by accident. Came here by accident? Tell it, who will believe it? 
HMPH, man, it seems that you don't cry until you see the coffin. With a wave, the guards came up, wanting to arrest Chen Qingtian and give him a good look. Chen Qingtian waved his hand and said, I really want to do something, you can't stop me. Don't force me to do it, beauties, I don't want to break you. The old man just doesn't want to be angry, don't be ignorant of good and bad. The old man is really going to be angry, believe it or not, he will kill you all. In an instant, a trace of coercion was revealed, and all the guards could not move. Even Granny Niu, who was the closest, couldn't move at this moment. Granny Niu's face was shocked, she couldn't move. The coercion made her have desperate thoughts. The man in front of them was very strong, and they couldn't beat him. Ruined. Daughter Island is going to disappear. At this moment, she thought a lot, but she didn't expect that Daughter's Island would still be in danger. The man in front of me is looking for trouble. Close your eyes and wait for death. Coercion comes and goes quickly. Chen Qingtian didn't intend to kill them, they didn't offend him, and he didn't like killing people. Chen Qingtian will not hold back some people who deserve to be killed. For these women, Chen Qingtian didn't want to kill them, after all, they did nothing wrong and did nothing wrong. Granny Niu looked at herself suspiciously, she was not killed, and the others were all alive. That man, did not kill them. He was smiling and looking at himself and the others, as if saying, I wanted to kill you, so I would have done so long ago. You still need to wait for now, so you understand that I have no malicious intentions. Granny Niu's back was wet, and her sweat was still dripping. He is very dangerous. Maybe everyone will fight together, but it may not be possible to defeat him. You came in alone? Yes, the old man doesn't like being with others. After receiving Chen Qingtian's answer, Granny Nu was shocked, it was calm belt outside. How did he come here? Swim. Still. According to the report, Chen Qingtian has no ships, which is even more terrifying, okay. Will the person who can break through the calm belt alone be a weak person? Grandma. Grandma. Just when Granny Niu was shocked, the three little ones walked in. The sisters have obviously regained their spirits, and there are smiles on their faces. It was the two younger sisters who yelled, and the older sister in front did not. She came along coldly, and they received news that someone had broken in. The two little sisters rushed over and stood gently in front of Granny Niu. It was obvious that they got along well. Grandma, I heard that someone broke in, where is he? Yes, mother in law, are you okay? The two younger sisters searched around, and their eyes fell on Chen Qingtian. They looked at the person and figure in front of them curiously, feeling a little familiar. Chen Qingtian also looked at them, Chen Qingtian who had returned to his original appearance, they couldn't recognize him, the previous him was disguised. Hancock was also sizing up Chen Qingtian, his eyes from bottom to top. When she saw Chen Qingtian's eyes, at that moment, she screamed. Ah! Then, she pointed at Chen Qingtian with an excited face. The two younger sisters heard the elder sisters cry, they turned to look at the elder sister, and came to comfort her. My sister was very emotional, as if she saw a shocked person. The two looked at Chen Qingtian curiously, they didn't know each other, why was the sister so excited? Hancock kept pointing at Chen Qingtian, and he recognized it. Those eyes were the ones I saw at that time, Hancock was unmistakable, definitely him. Sister. What's the matter? The second child, Boya Sandersonia, worried about supporting her sister who was about to fall, she glared at Chen Qingtian. What did you do to my sister? She was so angry that she was about to transform into a boa constrictor. Devil fruit snake fruit python form, devil fruit forced by celestial dragons, became the main source of her power. The elder sister protected them for so long, and they did not allow others to hurt the elder sister. The third child, Boya Marigold, also transformed into a big snake, devil fruit snake snake fruit king cobra form, and the two glared at Chen Qingtian from left to right. Anyone who hurts sister is the enemy of both of them. One left and one right, one fat and one thin. One brown and one green, the hair color of the two is different, the second is green, and the third is yellow. After the transformation, the color of their hair did not change. The two twisted their bodies, as if they were going to surround Chen Qingtian and hang him to death. Anyone who hurts my sister will be killed without mercy. Our sister, don't allow others to hurt you. You hurt my sister, you hurt us. The two of them stared at Chen Qingtian angrily, waiting for their sister to give orders. The crutch in Granny Nu's hand next to her hit the ground heavily. Shocked by Chen Qingtian's strength, she was afraid that something would happen to the three sisters, so she hurriedly pulled them back. 
Who knew whether Chen Qingtian would be enraged and kill the two of them? What are you two doing? Go to the back for me. And you, Hancock, go to the back. The three of them were guarded behind them. Granny Niu's eyes are not friendly. Is Chen Qingtian here to trouble the three sisters? Is he a lackey of the celestial dragons? Or the people on the marine side? But from Chen Qingtian's appearance, it doesn't look like the people on the two sides. Granny Nu didn't dare to gamble, she was wary of Chen Qingtian, who suddenly appeared and possessed great strength, and he also knew the three Hancock sisters. The boss Hancock obviously recognized the identity of Chen Qingtian, he has a big problem. Man, tell me your purpose. If you want to take the three of them away, I tell you, it's impossible. Granny Nu is worthy of being the patriarch of the Nine Snakes, the king of the Amazon lily, full of hockey. This is the territory of the Nine Snakes. Even if Marine comes, they cannot be taken away from the Nine Snakes. The three of them are members of my Nine Snakes. The Nine Snakes are not afraid of danger or threats. She has secured the three sisters today, no matter who it is, it is impossible to take them away. Unless all of their Nine Snakes are dead, the unity of the whole family is the guarantee for them to survive in this sea area. In order to protect their people, they can sacrifice themselves. Hancock, stand back. Hancock wanted to confirm. But was stopped by Granny Nu. Grandma Niu didn't know Chen Qingtian's identity, so she held the three of them together and kept them from moving. Chen Qingtian's threat is too great, if he is not careful, maybe their nine snakes will have to confess here today. If it can be resolved peacefully, it will be resolved peacefully. She is not dead yet, and there is no need to give up the three sisters in exchange for peace. Hancock was unwilling, but she couldn't hold back Granny Nu, so she obediently stood behind her. The other two younger sisters protect their elder sister respectively. Without their older sisters, they would not be where they are today. Back at the Celestial Dragons, they were probably killed. Man, what on earth are you trying to do? Granny Nu is not afraid of Chen Qingtian, she must ask clearly. As the patriarch, as the king, this is her duty. Chen Qingtian rubbed his chin, and was overwhelmed by Granny Niu's aura, a small one can explode with great energy. The momentum is very strong, worthy of being a king. The strength is good, not very strong, that's all. In Chen Qingtian's eyes, there is no strong person on this island, not a single one. There is no peak strength, but a group of women and an army of women with ordinary combat effectiveness. All the people are soldiers, and there are few people, so this must be done. On an island that lacks men, they can hold on until now. I have to say that they are very strong. And as their patriarch, the old woman in front of her is indispensable. With her existence, Nine Snake Island can be protected. Don't worry, the old man is older than you, my sister, my brother has no other purpose, nor is he here to ask for trouble. Don't worry, I think the three of them can give you the answer. As for me, I mainly want to see how they are doing. I have no other purpose. Relax, my brother really didn't come to ask for trouble. He explained again and again that Grandma Niu didn't believe Chen Qingtian's nonsense. If they knew each other, why didn't they recognize it? Grandma Niu saw that Chen Qingtian didn't seem to be lying, so she warned Chen Qingtian. Then he pulled the three sisters to the corner and asked softly, Hancock, do you know him? Hancock said confusedly, I don't know, I may or may not know. She felt that those eyes were the same, and their expressions were very similar. But after all, it wasn't that person. Chen Qingtian who had changed so much that no one could recognize him. If Hancock hadn't carefully memorized the specific information about Chen Qingtian at that time, maybe she wouldn't have recognized it either. It's just a resemblance, not sure it's him. The second and third sisters were even more uncertain, and they looked at a loss. Sister, do you know that old man? Sister, have we seen her? The two younger sisters have no impression, they have been with their elder sister all the time, and they should have seen the people that the elder sister has met. But they didn't have any memory. Looking at Chen Qingtian again, there was no such person in their memory. Do they know him? The two were at a loss, they couldn't answer Granny Nu's question. Seeing the confused faces of the two of them, Granny Nu knew it was useless to ask them. Hancock, think about it carefully, that man is very dangerous. If you don't know each other, your mother in law will not give you to her. His purpose is very simple. He came to find you. Moreover, he was able to find this place, it seems that he knows your whereabouts like the back of his hand. This man is very dangerous. Old lady, I am not sure how to deal with him, so you have to think carefully. Grandma Nu didn't dare to let go of things that she couldn't guarantee. Once it is given to him, it will be difficult to get it back when the time comes. 
If you can't beat it, you may be wiped out by the group at that time. Hancock wondered. Mother-in-law, I don't know very well, I have to confirm to be sure. After all, we've only met each other, and we're not familiar with each other. If it's that person, I don't think we're in danger. Hancock couldn't help shivering as he recalled everything in the holy land of Marie Joy's. The darkest period of life has not yet gone out. She didn't want to recall those things, really, it was horrible. The three of them were also unwilling to reveal the specific details of the time. Only Granny Niu knew about the entire Nine Snakes Island, she brought them back to recuperate and protect them by the way. To sympathize with them is to save them at the same time. When Granny Niu found them, she had already passed out. At the beach, all three of them were unconscious. Granny Niu recognized the imprints on their bodies at a glance, and wrapped them up to prevent others from getting close to the three sisters. Hancock came over. Granny Nu stood by her side to protect her, her eyes kept scanning Chen Qingtian. Once Chen Qingtian has any evil intentions, she will risk her life to save Hancock. The second and third younger sisters were protecting them, and they could strike at any time. The guards next to him raised their weapons one by one, aiming at Chen Qingtian to prevent emergencies. Chen Qingtian touched his nose helplessly, and he said lightly, Hancock, don't you know the old man? Speak, speak, and the voice changes. Just like the voice at that time, Hancock was very excited, her eyes were red, and she looked directly at Chen Qingtian. It was that voice, yes, she couldn't hear it wrong. It was him, it was him, the voice Hancock would never forget in his life. It's you. Excited, excited, unbelievable. Suspicious again, she couldn't believe that Chen Qingtian really came looking for them. At that time, she thought it was a joke, but she didn't expect it. When the second and third sisters heard this voice, their bodies shook, and their faces showed shock. It was a very familiar voice, they had heard that voice before, they must have heard it. Where did I hear it? The two of them recalled the miserable past. Suddenly, they remembered a figure. That stalwart figure, that person, rescued them with the murloc hero Fisher Tiger on the holy land of Marie Joy's. He is also one of the heroes, it's just that many people don't know him. It's you? Is it really you? The two asked at the same time, their excitement, their excitement. No one can understand their feelings. Only those who have experienced that kind of disaster know the meaning of this excitement. Grandma Nu looked back in surprise, not only did Hancock know her, but also Garud and Sonia knew him. It seems that he is not a bad person, but Granny Nu dare not let down her vigilance. The man in front of him is still very dangerous. It seems that you have recognized the old man, haha, <laughs> the old man said that we will meet again. Chen Qingtian smiled and said, No, isn't the old man here? We met again on Nine Snake Island. Without the oppression of Marie Joy's, without that oppression, they want to cry. Three people burst into tears. Those who were saved never dared to relax. I am afraid that if I am not careful, I will return to that kind of life again. It was their greatest luck to meet Granny Niu. Although she spoke viciously, she always liked to control them. They all knew that Granny was doing it for their own good. They respect their mother-in-law, and without her mother-in-law, they may not have them. In front of their mother-in-law, they dare not show a sad look, for fear of being rejected. But in front of Chen Qingtian, they have no scruples. At the moment, they are happy and relaxed. Seeing that you are doing well, the old man is relieved. The old man is worried that the few of you will have a bad life. A simple sentence touched the hearts of the three of them. Concern, which is the concern of others, is precious. Chen Qingtian cupped his hands and said, Thank you, old sister, without you, they might not have the happy life they have today. Granny Nu did not dare to accept Chen Qingtian's thanks. Granny Nu knew all about the three sisters. I also admire Tiger the Murloc's behavior. He was able to climb the red line and make a scene in the holy land of Marie Joy's, making the evil of the celestial dragons appear in the eyes of everyone, and their evil deeds were exposed. And Chen Qingtian was also among them, which Granny Nu didn't expect. It turned out that there were two people making a fuss about Marie Joy's at the time. Tiger was the one on the surface, and Chen Qingtian, the person in front of him, was the one behind the scenes. The two of them made a big fuss about Marie Joy's, and they freed all the slaves. Knowing Chen Qingtian's identity, Granny Niu relaxed her attitude, pressed her hands down, and put down all the guards' weapons. I should thank you. Without you, many people would be tortured by celestial dragons. The celestial dragons are too abominable. They actually did such outrageous things. They deserve to be killed, bloody villains. Speaking of celestial dragons, Granny Nu knows a thing or two. After all, 
The people who survived in that era, the crimes of the celestial dragons, are known to many people. Over the years, they have covered it up very well, but it is still useless. Domineering, slamming evil, doing all kinds of evil, these are synonymous with celestial dragons. They like to arrest all races as their slaves, abuse them, and even torture them until it's useless and kill them with a single shot. Never caring about the life or death of others, in their eyes, life is humble. Only their lives are noble. Haha. <laughs> What my sister said is that the celestial dragons really should be killed. Chen Qingtian didn't expect that Granny Nu was also an angry youth. Look at her expression and her actions, she said that she also wanted to kill the celestial dragons. Unfortunately, she wasn't there at the time. If the old woman is also present, she will definitely kill the quartet. Haha. Ha. Why don't my brother take you to rush again? Granny Nu's smile disappeared in an instant, and she quickly shook her head. Hey, forget it. I'm old and useless, it's not as good as it used to be. Brother, if you took your sister and rushed up to Marie Joy's, the Holy Land, I wouldn't say anything to my sister. I would kill the celestial dragons when I saw it, now, no, I'm old. People, you have to obey the old. Not accepting the old will not work, her strength is not as strong as before. Sister, you are not old at all. Look at my brother, you can still rush. What are you afraid of? Chen Qingtian prodded. The three sisters enjoyed watching the show even more, and the three of them watched Granny Nu's answer. The old man likes to joke very much, and he is gentle, not that old and stubborn. Eh? Grandma Nu didn't expect Chen Qingtian to be relentless, and she was just pretending, so you take it seriously. Ahem, brother, let's not talk about those past events. Why don't you talk about what you came to see the three of them for? Are you going to take them away? Granny Nu was in a complicated mood. She wanted to keep the three of them, after all, she had a little affection. During this period of getting along, they have established a relationship, and the three sisters are also very good, and they are very good in all aspects. Especially my sister, who has the aptitude to become a king. I believe that under her leadership, the nine snakes will have a better future. The three sisters looked at Chen Qingtian nervously, their emotions were complicated, should they leave or not. Chen Qingtian shook his head. They are fine here. With you here, no one will bully them. As for the old man, I just came to see if they are doing well. Seeing that they are doing well, the old man is relieved. Granny Niu was relieved, but the faces of the three sisters were gloomy. As for the old man, I will stay for a while and train them well. Chen Qingtian said with a smile, after all, they are too weak. If they have no strength, they will be bullied. Strength comes first, the three of them are too weak, they need Chen Qingtian to train them. After all, she is her future great-grandson and daughter-in-law, and she needs to be treated generously. Ding. A mission that hadn't appeared for a long time appeared. The three little beauties are in front of you, how do you feel, are you very excited, do you expect what they will look like when they grow up, it is said that the elder sister is the empress, the most beautiful woman in the world, are you moved? Mission. For your great-grandson Luffy, cultivate a strong great-grandson daughter-in-law Hancock. To strengthen the family's needs, don't be careless. Focus on improving Hancock's strength so that she has the ability to protect herself. Reward. At the moment of beauty, a man who is not attracted is not a good man. Ahem, the rewards are very generous. Remarks. You can't have any thoughts, humble old man. The younger sister Hancock, even if she is a beautiful queen in the future, so what if she is so beautiful? Now she is just a young little sister. The appearance looked pretty good, but the figure didn't show. Chen Qingtian glanced at it, but there was no fluctuation. If the future empress met her face to face, Chen Qingtian might be slightly seduced by her, thus having bad thoughts. Men, who doesn't like beautiful women, no matter what their age or body, they will have a little thought. If you don't say it, no one will know. Now, Chen Qingtian has no idea. The three sisters, the elder sister is a beauty embryo, which can be seen now. As for the two younger sisters, they don't look like beauties. The second younger sister, Sonia, looks okay, neither beautiful nor ugly. The third sister, Garud, has a relatively puffy body, which can be seen these days. The two of them are not as good looking as Hancock, you can tell when you are young. And he ate the sweet fruit, which added a bit of beauty to her. Anyone who covets her beauty will be petrified by her, just like the legendary Medusa. The ability of this devil fruit is very strange, if you are not obsessed with her, nothing will happen. The real trick, People who are not tempted, basically don't have it. Except for that naive Luffy, even a determined person will be tricked the moment they see her. Of course, some strong-willed and unshakable men will not be easily tricked. 
for example, swordsmen, Mahawk and the others have exercised their will to be unshakable, and they are not afraid of Hancock's beauty. The little girl took a look, and that look was incredible. Full of charms, ordinary men would be easily fooled and petrified by her. Fortunately, Chen Qingtian ignored these things, he was old and strong-willed, so he wouldn't have any thoughts about her. What are you looking at, old man, you also want to be confused. A hammer fell, and Hancock jumped in pain. The small eyes blinked, very pitiful. She is still trying to fall in love with Chen Qingtian, this woman is too seductive. Chen Qingtian's attack was gentle and not too heavy, unlike when he hit Garp and the others. My great-grandson and daughter-in-law can't be hurt. Besides, when you treat beautiful women, ahem, you have to be gentle no matter what. No way, the old man is a gentle person. But in the eyes of others, Chen Qingtian's movements are so familiar and terrifying. Especially the second and third younger sisters backed away in fright. What a terrible old man, if you follow him, you will die. He's not intimidated by his sister's devil fruit ability, which is rare. Even women can be tricked, but he ignores his sister's devil fruit ability. Terrible, this man is terrible. Grandma Nu was not very shocked. Many powerful people are not afraid of beauty. Moreover, the current Hancock has not grown up, and his charm has not reached its peak. Brother, do you want to train the three of them? My sister found a good place for you. It's just in the back mountain. Don't worry, few people will bother you. My sister has already made arrangements, they will all be sensible, you can rest assured to train them, don't have other ideas. Granny Niu was very happy. Chen Qingtian trained the three of them, and after they learned it, they belonged to Nine Snakes Island. When the time comes to pass it on to everyone, the strength of their Nine Snake Island will be improved to a higher level. The safety factor is greatly improved. Granny Niu would not refuse a good thing that served multiple purposes in one fell swoop. As for the three sisters who suffer and want to become stronger, there is no one who will not suffer and suffer. Tired, bitter, nothing. Come with me, please, and start exercising now. Time is limited, so start now. Granny Nu is eager to start exercising immediately, time waits for no one. The three sisters are reluctant to follow, the old man is too scary. The attack is fierce and terrifying, they will not be able to bear it. Look at my sister, it's so miserable, I want to cry, but I can't cry. The small eyes blinked, very pitiful. Why are you standing still, you three, hurry up. Grandma Niu took Chen Qingtian ahead, and she led Chen Qingtian. The three sisters behind her walked slowly, not wanting to follow. Granny Niu turned her head and urged the three of them, don't waste time, you don't have much time, learn things quickly. What you have learned is your own. Since someone has trained you, you should cherish the opportunity. In this world, very few people teach what they know. Unless it's their own, others don't want to learn from their father. Master-student relationship, father-son relationship, our very close relationship can impart knowledge. Otherwise, you want to learn good things, and you have to pay a huge price. It doesn't matter, if you want to become stronger, it's unlikely. Relying on oneself to become stronger, without systematic cultivation, the speed of becoming stronger is very slow, and even, it will not become stronger. Practicing alone, I don't know where the direction is, and I don't know which direction to exercise. In the end, the bamboo basket fetches water in vain. Granny Niu knew the importance of it. Back then, she wanted to become stronger, so she begged many people. How much you pay, money is a small matter, some people will not teach you. First of all, you need talent. If you don't have enough talent, others won't talk to you. Second, you must have a good character, which is especially important. After all, the master is also afraid that the apprentice will kill himself after he learns it. Third, you have to find powerful people. Powerful people are not so easy to find, nor are they so easy to approach. Luck, very important. After a series, if you want to become stronger, you are dreaming. But now, with the opportunity in front of her eyes, how could she not cherish it? Hurry up, don't stand there stupidly. Third sister Garud shook his head. Grandmother, I'm hungry. She is so naive, she doesn't want to go, she is afraid. The body is trembling, and I really don't have the courage to train. The second sister Sonia then said, Grandma, I'm hungry too. I haven't eaten, I'm hungry, and I can't walk. Can we eat before going? We are not afraid, but simply hungry. Hancock blinked, staring at her mother-in-law pitifully, without speaking, but her expression gave her away. She was also hungry and hadn't had breakfast so was hungry. Granny Nu doesn't know what the three of them are thinking, 
You three hateful little ones. Do you want to die if you are messing with the old woman now? Don't worry. Breakfast has been prepared for you, just ahead. Just because of the three of you, you still want to fight the old woman, so you have been on guard for a long time. If there are any other tricks, just use them, the old woman will continue. The three sisters were dumbfounded, they didn't expect Granny Niu to have this trick, they didn't know what to do after breakfast was done. The second sister and the third sister looked at each other, blinking their small eyes, and even whispering in front of their faces. Second sister Sonia. Sister, what should I do? Third sister Garud. Sister, why don't we pretend to have a stomachache? Second sister Sonia. Uh, is it useful? Third sister Garud. It must be useful, sister. Do you want to practice? It is said that it is scary. My sister's misery is still vivid in my mind. If you practice under the old man, you will really be beaten. Look at my sister, she is so good looking that she is willing to do it. Wouldn't the two of us be beaten even harder? No, absolutely not. Second sister Sonia. How about this, sister, you pretend to be sick, and I'll take you for treatment, how about it? The third sister, rude, obviously didn't want to pretend to be sick, so she tried to change her partner. Sister, my sister's body doesn't look like pretending to be sick. Why don't you come here? There is a price to pay for pretending to be sick. That old woman, Granny Nu, has a lot of tricks. If something happens to them, they will be beaten. The third sister, Lud, doesn't want to be beaten by himself. Sister, you go. You are a sister. Don't you have the heart to let your sister be beaten? The second sister, Sonia, also knew the seriousness of the matter, and she didn't want to be beaten. The two shied away from each other. Neither of them was willing to be the one who pretended to be sick, they fooled each other to go, and they didn't go to each other. After discussing for a long time, Sonia couldn't wait, she pressed her sister's head and said, Mother-in-law, Garud seems to be unwell, I have to take her to see a doctor. Garud's intestines were about to repent, he moved a little too slowly, and was caught by his sister. Damn it, it's too late to pretend. Immediately, immediately, holding his belly, pretending to cry in pain. Oh. My stomach hurts, it hurts so much. Mother-in-law, sister, you go to practice first, and I will go to see a doctor first. I'll go to you guys after I finish my treatment, sister. Two dear sisters, you go. Sister, I can go to the doctor alone, I don't need you to accompany me. Her acting skills are very strong, pretending to be real. Sonia was dumbfounded, no, sister, you cross the river and tear down the bridge. A good plan was ruined by you. Sonia supported Garud, and said gently, Sister, don't push yourself, sister will help you. If you're sick, you should be obedient and don't force yourself. Why can't my sister have the heart for you to go to the doctor alone? Don't be afraid, my sister is here. The sisters are so touching. Look at the two of them, how loving they are. Dear sisters, this is what we want, for the sake of each other's safety. Hancock also wants to join, but there is no place, so she can only wait. Granny Niu has black hair, these two little girls, when it's critical, you make trouble for me. Are you tired of living? Hateful. She squeezed out an ugly smile and asked, Grud, where is your pain? Grud hugged his stomach and said in pain, Grandma, I hurt everywhere. Pain all over the body, there is no place that does not hurt. I don't know if I didn't sleep well last night and I need to go back and have a good rest. She is sorry that she cannot accompany you to training. Oh, really? Yes. Mother in law, can you do it alone, Gorit? I can, mother in law, let my sister and the others practice. Grud, are you sure you can do it alone? Yes, mother in law, my sisters need to become stronger and protect me, so I can't waste their time. Mother in law, hurry up and take them to practice. Sonia listened to her sister's words, she was so inhuman. He actually wants to abandon himself and let himself practice. Isn't this sending yourself to death? Damn bastard, how dare she! Isn't she afraid of things being revealed? Hancock frowned, my good sister, you are so kind to my sister. Chen Qingtian looked at the three of them with great interest, sisters love each other deeply, even when he was sick, he did not forget his sisters. Should I give you an award to reward your sensibility? Sick or not, Chen Qingtian could tell at a glance, he didn't speak, just watched the play quietly. What will Granny Nu do? And the three of Sonia who were betrayed, what would they do? Good show, it's time to start. Before they started exercising, the three sisters fell apart, saving Chen Qingtian a lot of effort. This is also good, you fight among yourself, then you will be very happy. If you are sick, you should rest well. 
When grandma Nu heard this, she turned her head in surprise and looked at Chen Qingtian in confusion. She couldn't believe that Chen Qingtian couldn't see it. But when she saw Chen Qingtian's smile, grandma Nu understood. Brother is right, Garud, since you are sick, you should take a good rest. Granny Nu said, I have arranged for a doctor to come, don't worry, our doctor is very professional, we guarantee that you will get the medicine cured. Soon, the doctor came. After some inspection, I came to a conclusion. Grod is sick, and it's not a minor illness. A knife is needed to carefully observe the inside of the body, and some parts may be removed if necessary. As for where it is, the doctor compared the positions of their chests. Yes, if it is serious, the little rabbit may have to be cut off. In the future, you can no longer grow up. Possibly, you will be dispatched to the airport with your back on your back in the future. As soon as this remark came out, Garud was dumbfounded, no, no, she doesn't want to use the knife. She was more frightened by the knife than the pain. I, Grod waved his hands, refusing to use the knife. Granny Nu urged the doctor, hurry up, we have limited time, what should we cut? Let's do it now, anyway, she doesn't need it. It's too much, cut it clean, don't leave the root of the disease. One knife down, get the medicine to cure the disease. Can't relapse, the doctor gave a no problem expression, opened the box, and took out her knife. With a knife in each hand, he walked towards Garud. Little sister, don't be afraid, it's okay, it will pass soon. My sister is a professional and won't mess around. Close your eyes and don't look, it will be bloody waiting. The two older sisters next to me are watching a show, so hurry up and cut the knife. Cut her, cut it all. Abandon their sister, or not. No, no, Grod backed away in horror, protecting his chest. No, mother-in-law, I'm not sick, I'm fine, I'm fine, don't cut me up. Granny Nu smiled and said, Doctor, hurry up, we are in a hurry. The urged doctor understood what Granny meant, and approached Grod. She was so frightened that her face paled and she almost fainted. Terrible. No, I don't want to cut it. Oh, please, mother-in-law. Let me go. I'm not sick, I'm pretending to be sick. She was so wrong that she cried, crying and shouting, revealing her heart. She stopped acting. Mother-in-law, I think my sister is really sick. Look, she's already talking incoherently, Sonia interjected. She couldn't bear the suffering of her younger sister, the serious illness was a terrible thing. Once entangled by illness, this life will be ruined. For the sake of her sister's safety, she decided to help her out of the predicament. Garud looked at his sister in shock. In his heart, there were ten thousand words of insulting her. You are really my good sister. Listen to me and say thank you, because of you, four seasons have been warm. I feel so too. Hancock, who had been silent all this time, broke out a word at this moment. My good sister, don't refuse treatment, we must be treated when we are sick, we cannot escape. Escaping cannot solve the problem. Now that the problem is discovered, it must be treated. It cannot be resisted, let alone treated. Garud was dumbfounded, isn't it, you are my good sisters, if you don't help me at critical times, you still gloat. Oh my god, are you still my sister? In the end, I did it all by myself. Wrong payment. Sister, sister is for your own good. My dear sister, it's just illness, it's not a big deal, we can treat it. Hancock gently persuaded, close your eyes, it will pass soon. Don't worry, the sisters will accompany you. Don't cry, don't be afraid, we are your most solid backing. Grod. I'll go, you want me to cut it off so much? Tell me, are you jealous of my good looks? You are just jealous of my sister's plumpness, so you want to cut me off. You have such a cruel heart, you don't have it yourself, and you don't allow others to have it. You, Sonia took her hand and said, Sister, sister has no other choice. Doctor. I'll help you catch her, you hurry up, you're welcome. All of a sudden, Grod was held down by sister Sonia with one hand, unable to move. The other hand was quickly pressed by Hancock, and the two pressed their sister left and right. Expose the chest to the doctor, come on, doctor, cut it off. We will not be sad, and we will not be afraid of treatment. In the blink of an eye, Garud was being held down, and she wanted to struggle, but the two older sisters pressed her with all their strength. Sister, let me go. What do you want, sister, don't. The two sisters were indifferent, ignoring their pleas. They wish the doctor could do it quickly and just cut it off. Under the guise of protecting her, he beat her hard. You are really my good sisters. As for the doctor, he does a full set of acting, walks over, and rubs the knife. The knife is very sharp, sister, you have to be patient. 
little sister, it will be fine soon, my sister will cut it. The knife flashed out, scaring Garud into a faint. She rolled her eyes and passed out. It's scary. Terrible. Sonia and Hancock looked at each other and smiled, Xiao Wang, I can't kill you. Let you betray us, now you know you were wrong. Let go of her, and Garud, who fainted, cannot escape. Hancock, Sonia, you guys take Grodd with you. Don't think about running away. Mother-in-law knows what you are thinking, practice is a must. Mother-in-law doesn't ask you to be number one in the world, at least you have the strength to protect yourself. Mother-in-law hopes that you can have it. Granny Nu seriously warned the two of them not to think of messy ideas. Today you must cultivate. My brother's time is limited, and he may not stay long. How to learn all the knowledge in a short period of time depends on your talents. Small actions are not advisable, otherwise, the end will be the same as that of Grodd. The two nodded. They knew what their mother-in-law was doing, so they didn't dare to make trouble again. Mother-in-law, don't be angry, Gerudo is not sensible, she is still young. That's right, Gerudo is too ignorant. The pot was thrown on the head of Gerud who passed out. She couldn't refute, all the crimes belonged to her alone. There is no problem with the two older sisters, they like to practice very much. Gerud. I really thank you, my good sisters. Bang bang bang. The two older sisters grabbed Grodd's feet, each catching one. Just dragging along with no other protection. Poor Grodd, his head kept hitting the ground. The steps were very high, and the two of them didn't care about the life and death of Garud behind them. Dragging, head, touching the steps again and again. Such loving sisters. Chen Qingtian felt a headache just watching the movie. Can Grod's head bear it if you drag it like this? Thinking about it seriously, it seems that there is no problem. Garud ate the devil fruit snake fruit, her body is very hard. The recovery ability is not bad, this kind of bump is a small problem. After walking for half an hour, they came to the back mountain. Garud was dragged along the whole time. That's horrible. Even the mother in law is worried about Garud's situation. After splashing a bowl of water, Garud opened his eyes in a daze. She looked around in doubt, the strange environment, the place she didn't know. Looking around, seeing the old face of the mother in law, she jumped up in fright. Damn it, sister, help me. Granny knew. You are the ghost, and your whole family is a ghost. The old woman is a beautiful woman, but you say that the old woman is a ghost, are you tired of living? Realizing that he was wrong, Grodd quickly apologized. I'm sorry, mother-in-law, I was dreaming just now, and I dreamed of a ghost, so. It's not that you're ugly, really, I'm having nightmares. Grandma Nu wouldn't believe such words, she was too fake. The expression betrayed her, good you Garud, you usually scold me a lot. Brother, it's here. You can practice here afterward. I will remove the guards around you. They won't come to this place to disturb you. The three of them are handed over to you. Brother, train them well. Don't be afraid. Beat and scold them as you like. Granny Nu said seriously. The three of them are very naughty. You need to train them strictly. You can do whatever you want, brother. The three of them will be handed over to you for training in the future. What means, just use it. Don't worry about me. As for the old lady, look, just look. She didn't intend to leave. She stood by and watched the play. As for breakfast, it was already ready, and the three sisters wanted to eat it, but were stopped by Chen Qingtian. Want to have breakfast? Chen Qingtian was standing in front of them, if he wanted to go there, he could go past him. The three sisters were suddenly depressed, and they passed the old man, wasn't that just a dream? Impossible things, they don't even try. But breakfast is very tempting. Since you think you can't beat the old man, how about you three fighting? whoever loses and who can't have breakfast. Chen Qingtian added, You only have two quotas, that's right, two people can have breakfast, but one person can't. How to decide? Leave it to yourselves to see if you are really sisters. Whether it is a plastic sister or not, it will be revealed today. The three of you looked at me and I looked at you, as if they were saying, why don't you quit? You don't have to fight, but you have to eat breakfast. The three of them are no longer the same as they were then, they must eat this breakfast, not for anything else, just to wait for you to return in the world of mortals, ahem, just to be in front of that person who can tea eat breakfast show off in front of you. Hancock. Ahem, as a sister, I should have breakfast. I'm the big sister, I call the shots. I'm sure I'm going to have breakfast, you two figure it out. If you want to fight, or do what you want, you can do whatever you want, and I'm not afraid of you. Sonia. I'm also a sister, so I also want to have breakfast, sister. Thank you for your hard work. 
Grodd. Why, you can't bully me. Look at my head, what did you two do to me, you still have the face to say breakfast. I'm already in such a miserable situation, can't you let me go? Respect the old and love the young, where are your traditional virtues? No, I don't agree. You are my sisters. If you don't want to let me go, you will torture me. I will eat this breakfast no matter what. Skip breakfast training. Do you want me to die? The old man would torture those who didn't train hard, and she didn't want to be the first to suffer. Therefore, she is not going to let. Hancock clenched his fist. My stupid sister, are you sure you want to fight with my sister? You have to think about it, you know better than me what kind of person your sister is. If you offend me, your fate will be even worse. Believe it or not, my sister will just give you a wink, and instantly petrify you. Grodd shrunk his head, as if he couldn't beat the big sister. However, the second sister can do it, she is not afraid of Sister Sonia. Sister Sonia, I will not give up this breakfast. Sonia rubbed her green hair, and said slowly, You can't beat my sister, so you come to trouble me? Garud, you have to think about it. Sister, I'm not so easy to offend. Once you offend my sister, hum. A cold snort represented her anger. You want to fight me, can you? Grud's face turned red with anger, she pointed at her two sisters, one and the other came to bully her. Unable to bear it anymore, she wanted to resist, even if she was beaten. It doesn't matter if you are my sisters, I have decided to have breakfast today. Transform yourself, Ultraman. Ahem, it's the King Cobra, blow me up. The small body suddenly became like a titan. Zone Devil Fruit is in full form, and the transformation is complete. Huge Cobra, entrenched the earth. Garud didn't care, she was going to fight, and if she lost, she admitted it. You are my older sisters, but your fighting strength may not surpass mine. Sonia wondered, Sister, you are serious, will you transform? My wife will too. Transform my old lady, Boa Constrictor, come out. Two big snakes stand tall. The two sisters have transformed, but Hancock cannot. She is weak and weak, as if she has become the target of attack. Sonia and Grodd had a clear goal from the beginning, attacking Hancock, they were bullied a lot, and they wanted to resist. If I don't teach my sister a lesson now, I won't have a chance in the future. Blink, the attack is coming. Two big snakes chased and attacked Hancock, and the instant change caught the two watching the show by surprise. Granny New blinked. What's the situation, it's not a fight as agreed, how can you unite to bully Hancock? Transform into a big snake and bully the little Hancock. As expected of a good sister, you guys are really sisters. The plastic sisters are the three of them. Two against one, Hancock might lose. Granny New said worriedly. There was always one person who couldn't eat breakfast, and she thought it was Grud. Unexpectedly, the two younger sisters joined forces to bully the weaker older sister. Don't think that because you are an older sister, they won't attack you. The opportunity is here today, if you don't hit it, you can't. Not necessarily, it is possible that Hancock won? That woman is not so easy to deal with. Even if she is very weak now, her fighting power, her talent, will guide her to fight. Devil fruit ability, will also be developed. The difference in size is indeed a gap, and the increase of zone devil fruit in the early stage is very strong. Much more pronounced than normal paramecia devil fruit. At least the zone devil fruit in full form has correspondingly increased its respective abilities, and the most basic six-dimensional abilities have been increased. Paramecia devil fruit needs to be developed, continuously developed, and continuously enhanced. In the late stage, paramecia devil fruit surpasses other devil fruit. Because of uncertainty, the development route of paramecia devil fruit is not fixed. Unlike logia devil fruit, the early stage is the existence of gods, and the later stage is very weak. But it also depends on the user, no matter what kind of devil fruit, if it is well developed, it is still heaven defying. Among them, the most heaven defying is the development of the meatball fruit. The meatball fruit of the tyrant bear is a real pervert. After his development, it is all in one. Attack, healing, defense, speed, and long range attack, burst out instantly, are fruit abilities with almost no weaknesses. No matter what kind of attack, physical attack, or magic attack, it can be bounced off by him. Too bad, Tyrant Bear. There is also Doflamingo's String String Fruit, which is well developed by him. As for Logia Devil Fruit, it is just like that, the development is too difficult, the early stage is too high, and the later stage is difficult to awaken. Zone Devil Fruit, look at Teacher Kaido, he is very strong, really strong. There is also a classic character, Rob Luge from Eni's Lobby, this ruthless man, 
eats ordinary zone devil fruit, not ancient species, nor phantom beast species, his strength is very strong. In the early stage, it was a godlike existence. Snake fruit. The enhanced place is also obvious, cobra is poison, and strong vitality, resilience, and the softness of the body, and finally strength. A woman is born weak and weak, but she who ate the snake fruit is very strong. As for the boa constrictor, its defense and vitality are enhanced, and it has perfectly inherited the power of the boa constrictor. Once it is entangled by them, it is no joke. Two people, chasing Hancock to fight. How much, a little personal grievances. Zone Devil Fruit is still very strong in the early stage. Hancock's Devil Fruit has not been developed yet. In the early stage, except for one ability, there are no other abilities. Obsessed with Gon Fung, shoot with a heart-shaped light beam, and the person hit will be petrified. It doesn't work on people who aren't obsessed with themselves, and it doesn't work on people who aren't focused on themselves. The two younger sisters are not obsessed with her, so her attack is invalid. They were very aware of their sister's attack methods, so they dared to riot and backstab her sister. Sister, I'm sorry. Sister, breakfast is for the two of us, you can watch us eat. Sonia and Garud bullied her sister, but they didn't bully in the early stage, but in the later stage, it was the two of them who might be bullied. In order to prevent being bullied in the future, bully her first now. They can't be suppressed all the time, at least, they also have a glorious past. When they go outside, they can also brag. In the past, they beat their sister down and beat them viciously. Breakfast was an excuse. The two of them had long wanted to teach their sister a lesson. No one would look down on who made her always look arrogant. Even her own younger sister, she despised them, and her proud appearance made people want to beat her up. When you are young, you don't look at people directly. Isn't this looking down on them? In order to cure her sister's pride and arrogance, the two of them decided to give her sister a hard time and had to teach her a lesson. Let her know that the two of you are sisters, not the kind you can casually despise. Strength is the standard for measuring status. Without strength, status is naturally not high. The status of the three sisters must speak with strength. They were in danger before, and they followed their sister, who made her smarter. Sister, sister, I'm sorry for you, you, it's okay to be hungry, sister, I eat a lot, so I can't be hungry. The third younger sister Rude said directly, let's give this breakfast to my younger sister. My younger sister, I don't want to fight with you. She said she would not fight, but in fact, she was the most ruthless. I was ecstatic in my heart, sister, don't run away, hit me. Venom was sprayed from the mouth, and a mouthful of thick phlegm went down, melting the ground. Her venom is sprayed on the human body, and if it can't bear it, it will be melted in an instant. Hancock kept running away, using big trees to block him. The most annoying thing about the third sister is the venom, which cannot be blocked, but can only be avoided. Fortunately, the third sister's strength is not very deep, and the control of devil fruit is not very good, and the accuracy of the venom is not accurate enough. Continuously dodging venom, Hancock couldn't keep his hand. The younger sister is trying to force herself to a dead end. For breakfast, she doesn't care about her sister's affection. Well, you Garud, you said you wouldn't hurt my sister, but in the end, you hit harder than anyone else. I think your little sister wants to murder the big sister, troublemaker. Dirty Venom also wants to get close to me. The running is full of elegance, every step of Hancock is the elegance of a beautiful woman. As she walked, she sensed the attack behind her. Step forward and move a distance of one meter. Behind, the big tree was destroyed. Sonia's attack attacks from the side, and she sneaks from the side. The two sisters cooperated tacitly, one chased and killed from behind, and the other attacked from the side. The attacks of the two of them can be seen to have been secretly trained. Sister, Sonia doesn't want to hurt you either, so you surrender. Sonia climbed and moved, her huge body pressed out a huge path. The big tree, in front of her, didn't look good enough. She has perfectly inherited the strength and size of the boa constrictor. The attacks of the two were reversed, and it should be correct that Sonia attacked from behind and drove Hancock away. Gorid attacked from the side, which happened to respond to their devil fruit ability. Hancock's face was dark, and the two dear sisters had gone to great lengths to prevent her from having breakfast. My stupid sister, do you want to rebel? Hancock turned his head and drew a heart shape with both hands. The pink love heart is very pretty. She gently pulled the heart, the heart deformed, and an arrow shot out from the heart. Sonia ignored her attack, hard steel. Marrow Marrow Mellow passed through her body without causing any danger. Unable to petrify, they are sisters, 
there is no love for each other. The ability of sweet fruit is like this, you say tasteless, it's not very tasteless. It is very useful, depending on the object. For some people with ulterior motives, are those who covet her beauty, the power is infinite. Hancock's ability to use is limited, she has not learned other moves. Mero Mero Mello is effective for other people, but not for my two younger sisters. That's why the two of them dare to backstab my sister, they are too familiar, so they know your attacking moves. Garud laughed loudly. Sister, give up resistance. The victory belongs to the two of them, sister, your tricks have been cracked by us. So, don't be stubborn, it's useless, why not just give up? Real plastic sisters. Chen Qingtian rubbed his chin and asked the old girl next to him. My sister, are they usually like this? Backstabbing each other without mercy. True sisters are nothing more than this. Granny Nu shook her head. The three sisters she knew were not like this. The three were friendly, united, and would not betray each other. But now, the facts in front of her told her that the three of them were actually very cheerful, not as dull as they had seen before. Of course, Hancock is still exactly the same, arrogant and contemptuous of everyone, and everyone is her admirer in her eyes. Honey is a confident woman who feels that everyone in the world will be shocked by her beauty. They are not as relaxed as they are today. They are reserved and afraid of all unfamiliar environments. It took me a long time to stabilize them from fear. Perhaps it was because they were tortured so badly in that place that they still fear that place. Hey, celestial dragons are really not human, how could they do such a thing? Marine, they can't do anything with celestial dragons either. The people above have their own way of dealing with it. Marine, to put it nicely, it's justice, but in fact, it's more or less the same. Of course, there's no shortage of righteous marines. The top is rotten, and the bottom, no matter how good it is, is just like that. Let's not talk about the celestial dragons for the time being. We have no control over what they do. Chen Qingtian said, they have marine protection. If you want to kill them, the price you pay is too high. Old sister, don't take it too hard to kill them. You are not alone like the old man. With many masters on Nine Snakes Island, Granny Nu couldn't do it as easily as Chen Qingtian. Once they make a move, it is easy to be found. At that time, it may take the lives of the entire clan to appease the wrath of the celestial dragons. Granny Niu nodded. I know, I will naturally watch them and won't let them mess around. What we pray for is peace. Who wants war? We don't want it. If we don't have to, we also want to live in peace. With war comes death. It's not good for anyone to die. They are too weak to wrestle with marine. Small people like them live in fear so they can only shrink back from the calm belt and use the calm belt to protect themselves. For so many years, they have been able to live in peace because they seldom go out and have no contact with the outside world. Many people don't know their existence, and in the future, it will be hard to tell. After all, their family is full of temptations for many pirates. Yeah, if everyone can live in peace, who wants to fight? Pirates, marines, and various races, as long as there are interests, the battle cannot be quelled wealth, power, beauty, and all kinds of temptations exist, and it is impossible to be peaceful. Even now, the threat is still there. Strength, no matter when and in what era, is the last word. Not having a gun is different from having a gun. Just like the atomic bomb, whether you have it or not, the status is completely different. If you have it, it is a deterrent. Others dare not touch you, even if they know that you are weak, they dare not do anything casually. And you didn't, sorry. No matter how powerful you are, there will still be people who are ready to move against you and want to strike at any time. Jew Snake Island, if you want to change yourself, you must have strong strength. Top combat strength is essential, and this is what they lack the most. The three sisters are the people that Granny knew valued and her successors. The three of them all ate devil fruit, which is their powerful capital. As long as they continue to develop and practice, their strength will increase rapidly. Compared with those who did not eat devil fruit, they have already won at the starting line. Everyone wants to eat devil fruit, the problem is that devil fruit is scarce, hundreds of people, no, maybe only one person in thousands of people has the opportunity to eat devil fruit. Rare and expensive, even with the net worth of Nine Snake Island, it is very difficult to buy a devil fruit. There is a little money, mainly because the supply is in short supply. Everyone wants devil fruit, and that thing has to be lucky. Even for Chen Qingtian, apart from his own devil fruit, other devil fruits are rarely encountered. Too little. There are many devil fruits in the huge marine, but it is not rumored, and internal personnel digest it. 
some black market auctions of devil fruit basically cost hundreds of millions of berries. In these places, even if you can take pictures, whether you can get it or not is another matter. Without strong strength to protect devil fruit, in the end, you may even die. In a cruel world, the strong prey on the weak. Nine Snake Island is not connected to the outside world, making it even more difficult to obtain devil fruit. Devil fruit is a good thing, but you don't necessarily need devil fruit to become stronger. Self-cultivation is the most important thing, and devil fruit only provides a little increase. Willpower, body, and various skills require years of continuous practice. For example, swordsmen, they desperately improve themselves, develop their own tricks, and participate in various life and death battles to stimulate their potential. Living in a corner is difficult to improve, this point is beyond doubt. Nine Snake Island is a typical example. Even if it is very strong on the island, compared with the outside, it is a weak group. Granny New Side, I also know that the simplest ones, Marine Six Styles, Observation Hockey, Armament Hockey, and Nine Snakes Island don't have any cultivation methods. Needless to say, Marine Six Styles are Marine's secrets, and they will not be passed on to others easily. Even if they are given to the old body, the old body would not dare to practice. As for the practice of hockey, I am very eager, but I have no chance to get it. Chen Qingtian may be the weak existence that broke Nine Snakes Island, it is best to learn the practice of hockey from him, even if it is one of hockey. Knowing hockey and not knowing hockey are two extremes. Whether it is observation hockey or armament hockey, they don't choose. To put it bluntly, there is no calculation. Granny Niu wants to learn hockey. She is too old to learn it. She mainly wants the three sisters to learn it, and then pass it on to the people of Juche Island. The cultivation of hockey is very demanding and requires talent. People with good talent may learn it quickly, and those with bad talent may not be able to learn it even in a lifetime. Whether it's armament hockey or observation hockey, you need a strong talent. According to Chen Qingtian's knowledge, the hockey cultivation talent of Nine Snake Island people is not high, and there are very few who can learn it. The three sisters are talented, and they may be the three most talented people on Nine Snake Island. As for my sister, she has good talent, but unfortunately, she is getting old. I know, brother, if you open your mouth, as long as I can do it, I will satisfy you. Granny Niu begged, I just beg you to take pity on our Nine Snakes Island. The posture is very low, there is no way to ask for it. This is their opportunity for Nine Snake Island, and it is also a strong start. There was no calculation or conspiracy. Frankly speaking, Granny Niu was very smart and didn't want to offend Chen Qingtian. For some things, it is better to say it directly, if you can do it, you can do it, if you can t do it, you can t do it. Chen Qingtian admired the directness of the old girl, he said, it's not impossible to learn hockey, it depends on your talent. I can pass it on to three of them. Whether they want to pass it on to you or not depends on how the three of them choose. As for the three sisters, Chen Qingtian can teleport, and the others, go find the three sisters. Chen Qingtian didn't have the energy to train more people, the three of them were already very tired. If he was from an island, he would be crazy. Even so, Grandma Niu was already very happy, she said excitedly. Thank you, brother, you are our Nine Snake Island's benefactor, as long as you give an order in the future, Nine Snake Island dare not refuse. Granny Niu is very tactful, and she made a promise. From now on, they will fully support Chen Qingtian, whatever he wants, Nine Snake Island will support him. I don't have any requirements for the old man. In the future, when you meet the offspring of the old man, just take care of them. Grandma Niu immediately stood up straight, and said seriously, It is necessary, my brother's descendants are my sister's descendants, brother, don't worry, your descendants come to Nine Snakes Island, and we Nine Snakes Island will treat them as honored guests. This was Granny Niu's promise to him. Everyone has offspring, and they value their own offspring very much. If they accept the kindness, they will definitely repay it. Haha, <laughs> my sister is kind. No, brother, you are being generous. Many people hide the practice of hockey and don't teach it to others. After all, such a good thing is a secret and cannot be known by too many people. They took advantage and really appreciate Chen Qingtian. While the two were chatting, the battle over there was over. Hancock, who resisted stubbornly, was defeated. Two on one, relying on their physical advantages, they dragged Hancock until Hancock lost his strength and could no longer fight. Victory belongs to both of them. The two younger sisters who had changed back to their original state said excitedly, Sister, I'm sorry, the younger sisters are going to have breakfast. Sonia laughed and said, Sister, do you want to eat? 
My sister can give you a bite. Two people have breakfast. And my sister can only watch them eat breakfast. Two breakfasts, no more, no less, just right. Grud provocatively said, Sister, as long as you call me sister, for breakfast, my sister will give you half. Sonia then said, I'll give you half too, sister. My dear sister, would you like to have breakfast? As long as you call our sister, we will give you half, how about it? Two people, took advantage of the fire to rob. They had premeditated, wanted to be older sisters, and used breakfast to seduce their older sisters, so as to realize their dreams. To their disappointment, Hancock ignored them, snorted coldly, and turned his head to look in the other direction. Annoyed, she didn't want to watch the two having breakfast, so they deliberately came to Hancock to tease her. Eat breakfast in front of her, take a sip, and make the voice as loud as possible. He ate with big mouthfuls and made an unpleasant squeaking sound. It's delicious, sister, look at how delicious this breakfast is. Take a bite and want to eat a second bite, it's delicious in the world. It's so delicious, sister, I've never had such a delicious breakfast. Wow, delicious, delicious. Sonia and Garud kept making noises. They were savoring breakfast and sharing the deliciousness of breakfast. Sister, do you want to eat? As long as you call our sister, the rest is yours. Aren't you hungry? Sister, just call me sister, it's nothing. You can yell in a low voice, we don't need you to yell out loud, how about that? The two lowered their demands and seduced Hancock. They tried their best to be a sister. This kind of opportunity is close at hand, and in the future, I don't know when I will have the opportunity. Taking advantage of my sister's weakness, I have to bully her well. In case she comes back with revenge in the future, the two younger sisters don't care about the future, just live well now. Sister, call, don't you want to have breakfast? Wait and you have to practice. If you don't eat breakfast, you may be miserable. Sister, don't think too much, let's have breakfast quickly. For your future, for your revenge plan, you, shout. What's the relationship between our three sisters? Shout out, my sister won't embarrass you anymore. Yes, sister, let's call, it's just sister, it's no big deal. Grod and Sonia kept urging, they wanted to hear from their sister quickly. My sister called them two sisters, a dream thing. Today, I have the opportunity to achieve, my dear sister, do you want to have a delicious breakfast? HMPH, don't even think about it, you too, I won't call you sister. Hancock said angrily, don't even think about it in this life, you are dreaming. Hancock has her own pride, she is so beautiful, how can she be called other people's sister? Impossible, impossible in this lifetime. Not to mention breakfast, even in the face of death, she would not bow her head. How could it be possible for two stupid younger sisters to force themselves to bow their heads in this way? Being proud, she will not bow her head, even if the object is her own sister. Sonia had already guessed that her sister would say that, she smiled and said, Sister, are you really not shouting? Humph. Hancock snorted coldly and refused to call his sister. Garud taunted. Sister, it's you who don't want to eat breakfast, it's not that my sister doesn't want to eat it for you. Since you don't want to eat it, I won't be polite to my sister. I'm sorry, sister, breakfast is gone. If you don't shout, then I won't leave you breakfast. Garud ate it all, leaving an empty bowl. Look at the bowl yourself. Sonia smiled. Sister, sister, I still have some here, are you sure you don't want to shout? After eating alone, I threatened my sister. She wanted to take advantage of the fire, but Hancock turned her head away. She was proud and never bowed her head. Sorry, sister, you'll just be hungry all morning. My sister won't give in to you, I ate breakfast. Breakfast, all finished. Three people. Two of them had breakfast, and one was hungry. Without warning, Hancock endured hunger and waited for Chen Qingtian's order. Chen Qingtian left his mother in law for a while, he came in front of the three of them, applauded, and said, Very good, the first step, you have completed. Is the breakfast delicious? Sonia, delicious. Garud smiled. Is there any more? Hancock, no, there's only so much breakfast, and it will be like this every morning. Of the three of you, only two of you can have breakfast. Oh, yes, the same is true for lunch. Only those with strong strength are eligible to eat. Weak people, I'm sorry, you have to be hungry. With this old man, being weak is a sin, and there is no food to eat. If you want to eat, you have to improve your own strength. Everyone is equal. Whoever is stronger will be able to eat. Chen Qingtian glanced at the three of them, Sonia and Garud were all smiles, there will be more days like this, and there will be more in the future. My sister is going to be miserable, she will be educated crazily. 
Hancock's face was sour, she played with her fingers and gritted her teeth. If this is the case in the future, then she will be very miserable. Of course, if you think you are strong enough to beat the other two, you can eat breakfast by yourself. In this old man's place, there are no fixed rules. As long as you have the strength, you can do what you want. The old man is very reasonable and will not embarrass you. Make it hard for yourselves, fight among yourself. When the old man is an outsider, what matters is your internal matter. Disintegrate the three of them from the inside, Chen Qingtian is very familiar with it, what the three of them tested in buggy can be used on them. My stupid great-granddaughter-in-law, your great-grandfather, I love you dearly. You can't live up to your great-grandpa's love. Next, is the first exercise task, it's very simple, you run around the island. Run three laps for now, not much, just three laps. Three laps, remember, don't be lazy, I'll watch you. Whoever finishes the run first will be able to control the initiative for lunch. Your lunch is right here, the person who starts from here and arrives here at the end can control the control of lunch. Don't worry, the old man will not break his promise. Why are you two standing still? Still not moving. The moment he finished speaking, Hancock's little cleverness had already run away, and the two sisters did not leave immediately. They were still standing there, as if they were waiting for Chen Qingtian's order. Hearing the old man's words, the two were taken aback for a moment, and then watched their sister running fast. Sonia said, Don't worry, old man, let my sister run a few hundred meters first. Garud was even more generous, Don't worry, let her run around, so what? The confident two spoke pretend words, their bodies were already moving. Fast running, physical strength, and various strengths, they are temporarily above Hancock. The boost given by Zone Devil Fruit is unmatched by Paramisha Devil Fruit. At least the front is like this. Zone Devil Fruit has the advantage in combat power and various forces. At the back, the upper limit is a little higher than Paramisha Devil Fruit. These two are silly, really. Pretend is installed on my head, you guys are amazing. Although Hancock took the lead and ran far ahead of time, he was quickly overtaken by his two younger sisters. Sonia and Grodd did not overtake her immediately, but followed her and harassed their sister. Running three laps is a challenge for them, and Sonia and Garud have no difficulty. Just run faster, my sister is not in a hurry, and the two of them are definitely not in a hurry. The main reason is that they want to play tricks on their sister, three laps, it is very difficult for the sister. According to the size of the entire island, it is estimated that it will take a lot of time to run around. There is also physical strength. My sister's physical strength is not enough to support her to run three laps, at most one and a half laps, and her body can't support it. Sister, three laps, you have to refuel and run. My sister will be by your side, do your best, my dear sister. Sister, be careful with rocks. Sister, there is danger ahead. The two of them seemed to be accompanying their sister to run, but in fact, they were tripping her up. Go forward, they are not in a hurry, no matter what, my sister can't surpass them. They still have this confidence. This kind of opportunity is rare, never come again. Hancock kept his mouth shut, regulated his breathing, and didn't speak the whole time. Once she speaks, she will be even more tired. You must be steady and not be influenced by your sister. These two naives actually come to influence him, they are the biggest obstacle to his running. Stumbling, not happy. The two tried their best to mock themselves, trying to make their breathing messy, so that they could not complete the task. Sonia smiled and said, Sister, are you tired? Would you like my sister to help you? Garud said, Sister, sister give you a push. Grodd came up behind Hancock, trying to push Hancock forward. Helpless, Hancock stepped forward and could not be pushed down by his sister. If you fall down, you will be in trouble. Speeding up and running forward, the two younger sisters quickly caught up and followed her. One from the left and one from the right, two people collided, pinching her alone. A bit. Twice. Three or four times. The strength is getting heavier and heavier, and the two of them want her to stop. Disturb yourself so that you can be the last. Their minds are too vicious. Hancock thought. Damn Sonia and Garud, don't let the old lady get up, the old lady will let you know what happiness is. For now, bear with it. Be patient, be steady, and not be influenced by them. In the distance, Chen Qingtian and Grandma Nu watched the three of them as sisters, running together. The friendship between the three of them is embarrassing. She is really a good sister, she does not hesitate to sacrifice herself to hinder her sister. Three loving sisters, they are so funny. Chen Qingtian joked, from his point of view, 
the internal battle between the three of them had already started, and it was not an easy one. The two younger sisters obviously had a deep grudge against their elder sister, and they took revenge at this moment. Retaliation without intelligence, they will not attack lightly. When two people bully one person, even if it's an older sister, they don't take it lightly. It can torture you, it must torture you, it can make you uncomfortable for a second, and you will never let it go. It seems to be running, but in fact, it is fighting. A battle without gunpowder is the most terrifying. Granny Niu sighed. Sisters love each other deeply. The three of them will do anything for each other. Obviously, this is irony. The struggle of the three sisters has never stopped. Once started, can't stop. Grandma Nu understood that the elder brother next to him is a black-bellied person, look at him, how cunning he is. All of a sudden, the three sisters were in opposition. The harder they fought, the happier Chen Qingtian was. This person is a ruthless person, cannot be offended. Regardless of his kindness on the surface and his natural affinity, in fact, he is a sixth child. Sister, are you scolding me? A sudden sentence made Granny Niu almost fall down in fright. She looked at Chen Qingtian in surprise, as if to say, how do you know? Chen Qingtian squinted his eyes and said, sister, brother, I have no other abilities, but these eyes are good, so I can't read them wrong. You must be scolding me. Leaning over, Chen Qingtian giggled and said, sister, are you calling me the sixth child? As soon as these words came out, Grandma Niu fell backwards and sat on the ground. She opened her mouth and trembled, unable to believe what her ears heard. He could actually see through his own heart. How did he do it? Aren't you curious how my brother knew? Granny Nu nodded dully. For the first time in my life, I was so shocked. I have been frightened several times by a man who can see through the heart? Impossible. How could such a thing exist? Sister, don't think about scolding brother, I know it all. You can't hide from my brother in the future. If there is anything, you can just say it. Brother, I don't like others to plot against me. Grandma Nu was quite frightened, she nodded sharply. No, no, how dare my sister plot against my brother. Brother, you can rest assured, whatever you want, my sister can satisfy you. How dare she to it, she has no secrets in front of him. You can see through your own mind at a glance, what a fart. Sorry to bother you. Haha, <laughs> it's good that you know, sister, let's continue watching the show. Chen Qingtian patted Granny Nu on the shoulder and warned her again not to mess things up. Granny Nu nodded again, not daring to think too much. At least those thoughts, she kept them in her heart and dared not reveal them. My dear sister, please forgive me. After running around, Hancock was exhausted. Without the presence of two resentful sisters, she might be faster and not so tired. They came to torture her, followed her all the way, harassed her, tortured her. Make her trip, really non-stop. The two, in order to make fun of themselves, would do anything at all. Sister, as long as you call a sister, today, sister will let you go. Sonia revealed her inner thoughts, their evil intentions never die. Garud also said, sister, as long as you call sister, the two of us will stop harassing you today, how about it? Things are negotiable. Sister, don't make mistakes. Hancock knew that the two of them had no good intentions, you see, the fox's tail was showing. Two bastard sisters, you are really my good sisters. In order for me to call you sister, I will sacrifice everything. Exercise is the two of them exercising themselves. It was not easy for everyone to run three laps, but the two of them thought that they were sure of themselves. Damn, on the first lap, she was already tired. After two more laps, she may not be able to complete the task. With the two of them harassing herself, it is very difficult for Hancock to complete the task of three laps. You two don't want to complete the task. Hancock spoke up after all, she couldn't believe they didn't want to complete the task. Garud laughed and said, it's only three laps. If we run with all our strength, we can complete the task, sister. Sonia mocked. My dear sister, don't judge us two by your standard. We are different. 